Tonight's encounter is going to be Sekai against Neri. I have, I think I've never had the pleasure of uh, seeing either one of these participants uh, fighting, uh, well, participating to tonight, to uh, the Brojo Cup. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to uh, their participation tonight. So Sekai rocking Ginagoriki Y Neri is rocking Mei. Mei that we don't see at all recently. Uh, probably due to the recent nerfs that she had. Yeah, she could basically like one-shot you, but now it's not possible. But anyways, that being said, both uh, players playing rather... Uh, yeah, it's uh, there's no very apparent like advantage. That being said, here we go with Sekai, who was being sent in the corner. But, oh my lord, here we go with... Oh, the burst that was baited. But here with Sekai just letting rock the overdrive. Very, very nicely done. Smoib! <laughs> Smoib! Smoib, you're always so nice. Thank you very much for the raid, man. Really, really appreciate it. How y'all doing? Welcome to the Brojo Cup. This is our weekly uh, tournament, which takes place in Japan. And Smoib has always, always been so nice with me. How you doing, man? How was your stream? And that being said, I'm going back real quick to the uh, uh, to the commentaries. If you have anything to say in the chat, please do so. There's no problem. Everybody's welcome here. You can speak English, French, and Japanese also if uh, people are interested. I'm doing good stream with the dad's good. That's really good to hear. The the, the legendary, the legendary um, Gold Lewis, man. Gold, yeah, Gold Lewis, man. Thank you very much for the follow to Trugo and welcome to the Brojos. And uh, that being said, that was a very... Tournaments deserves more love. They do, man. I cannot stress how much I concur with your words right now. It, they definitely uh, deserve a lot of love. And that being said, the first round was taken extremely, not first round, first match was taken rather quickly by Sekai. I didn't even really have the time to commentate on the second round of this encounter. But that being said, it's hard being a TO. It is, man, it is. But it's it's also very, very uh, fulfilling. I think it's a very fulfilling experience because you're right in the middle of uh, of the of the community, basically. You get to, like, uh, see players play right in front of your eyes. You get to, like, talk to them directly even after the tournaments and such. And it's... It's just a very, very fulfilling uh, experience, I feel. And I encourage everybody to try and do so. It's really uh, something else. That being said, here we go. Me again, just talking and rambling about about obvious stuff. And here we go with Sekai already taken. Oh, my Lord, that was probably... Uh, yeah, or maybe like Sekai said, yeah, it's, it's too easy. I'm just going to let the... I'm going to let the burst rip and I'm just going to finish it with, with that handicap. But that being said, Sekai really close to a blood burst, but he finds the opening with the 2HS counter hit. This is going to be a wall break and death it is. Here we go with the quick 2-0-4. Sekai, extremely strong player right there, man. He really doesn't waste any time at all. And that being said, there's still one more chance for... Uh, for Neddy to try and make a comeback. It is going to be quite complicated, I believe, but uh, it's still not out of the realm of possibility. So let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the third match. Here we go. We are on track to see if Neri is going to be able to try to adjust the pace and try to, you know, find uh, find some adjustment in uh, in their um, in their game plan. And hopefully they will. We shall see. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. And here we go with the early... Really, you can see Sekai being extremely proactive when it comes to just whiffing buttons. And not afraid to do so because it's been working so, so, so good for him. The amount of counter hits he's been benefiting. And also the, uh... The really, really... Oh my lord, did you see the trip? Oh my lord, he was dead! Oh my freaking lord, are you serious? Did you see? That was crazy! Okay, Spazomoy, no problem. Thank you very much again for the for the, uh, for the the raid. Thank you very much. It's really well appreciated. And Sekai just going completely ham, just abusing the tactic of uh, using the Fukio man. It's been working so much for him. Here he is finally getting hit by a big... Oh, no, unfortunately, he, I think Roman Castle a little bit too early. And just like this, he's gonna... Oh, uh, is, is he gonna die? Oh, my lord. There's straight man. Here we go, Snary. You want to make a comeback? This is your time. Oh, and again, the blood burst. Come on, you got him. Yes. Finally got him. Finally putting this blood rage in check. That was very well done by Neri, not losing his wits. But you can see that Sika is definitely feeling himself. Like, just letting the Fukio rip left and right has been working a lot for him. And here we go with the big amount of damage for Sekai. Okay, here we go. Neri having troubles, like... I suppose conditioning Sekai and preventing him from pressing buttons. Oh, here we go with the 2S counter and the confrontment. Here we go with the overdrive, letting it rip. 
He's gonna push Sekai in the corner and the badly timed media is gonna prove and even the burst the burst bait that was crazy good from Sekai. Sekai definitely like feeling himself like there's no freaking tomorrow. And here we go with the blood burst again. And here we go, but he had ND instant overhead for the game. Work. Please work. I'm just gonna do another super scene because it didn't register the first time, I think. Oh, and we are in. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. We are in. Finally, okay, just I'm gonna ask you guys to wait just a couple of seconds. Uh, what I want to do. Okay, here we go. Here we go with the counter. Uh, I wanted to do something. I wanted to do this. Actually. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. So it didn't work. Wow, and the big, big, big offense right there from Edu Setora takes it very, very convincingly. Here we go with a very, very first and very convincing first. Oh, that's actually a, a mirror. Very nice uh, comeback from Yuka Pedosan. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm actually trying to troubleshoot a couple of, uh, couple of things right now. Here we go with a quick first round from Edo Setora-san. Very nicely done. I'm gonna ask you to wait just a couple of seconds, please. I'm really sorry. Oh, finally. Okay, work. Okay, very good. Sorry for the wait. Okay, so... Uh, here we go with a mirror match between Edo Setora and Yuka Pero-san. I do remember that uh, Edo Setora participated uh, quite sometimes, quite uh, often actually, to our tournament, so I'm really, really happy to see him play today as well. He is rocking the Kai, uh, uh, actually, uh, quite similarly with his opponent right now, who is also rocking a Kai. I'm just going to ask you guys uh, to wait a couple of seconds again. Here's, okay, okay, we're good. And here we go with a quick first round by Edo Setora. Very, very nicely done. And here we go with the direct play. He's gonna put Yukapero san on the ground, but Yukapero not afraid of waking up with the uh, dragon right there. A very nice conversion right there from Yukapero. He couldn't quite get the uh, the finish of the combo. Is he going to get the wall break? He actually is. He didn't uh, decide to use the. Um, uh, he didn't decide to use the. Oh, and that was crazy good the rc into the aerial grab takes the win for you capero very nicely done we go back to neutral oh and the big 6p on the uh on the um food red arc very nicely done again the direct to to break the wall oh and you capero not afraid of just going and just yeah dealing damage right there he's probably gonna get it here we go with the overdrive this is going to 
make it. Gary and I are having major connection issues. We're trying to connect to the park multiple times and it keeps dropping. I've offered to make a private lobby, but Neri would like to talk to you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's so this net. Show so much for us, I net. Okay. It's Neri san, Neri san, Neri san, Neri san, Neri san, Neri san. Ah, where? Ah, here we go. I'm going to make a playroom instead. I'm sorry. Please talk to Kai. I'll have Mary make a room and I do too. Lady vibes. If you still have so errors, lady scribe, please make her dual three. Okay, should be okay. We are good. Ah, lady san, ah, ありがとうございます. Bye. じゃあえっと一旦ちょっとそうですねネリさんが一旦その部屋を建てていただきでそこで ID をえっとレディスカイに共有していただきえっとちょっと試合してえっといただけますでしょうかもしまたそのその場でえっと接続のエラーが発生してたら場合えっと逆パターンにちょっとしていただけますでしょうかレディスカイビューにえっとレディスカイブさんにの部屋を建てていただきちょっとえっとまあその ID 共有をしていただき試合していただけますでしょうかえっとえっと確認ですけど、えっと、お二人ともは一旦ちょっと再起動していただけましたでしょうか、そのゲーム自体、再起動していただき、もう一度ちょっと、えっと、何、ID 共有をしていただきましたでしょうか、おそらくそうしていただければ、えっと、まあ、おそらく問題が解決するかと思います。Here we go with you, Capital. I think it's a 2 1 for you, Capital, right now? If I'm... Yeah, yeah, it's a 2 1 for you, Capital. I'm really sorry I, could, I couldn't、uh, commentate the match right now. We're currently troubleshooting. Okay, so it should be okay now. I think for Neri, hopefully, Neri and Lady Scribe, hopefully it's gonna be okay. I think I don't have another, yeah, we don't have another、um, issue. It should be okay. Yeah, to the end, so you, 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 so There we go with the dire eclair right there from Edo Seto. He's gonna push ever so slightly. y u k a b e r o in the. Oh my lord, in the DP fest, man. The DP fest, there we go. And very nice a n t i r e by y u k a b e r o Really holding his ground, doing a very good job of、uh, not letting Edo Seto walk all over him, which is extremely good. Edo Seto, a very good Kai player, by the way. y u k a b e r o I've never seen him up until now, but a very, very good、uh, Kai player, from what I can see. Here we go, nice 6 p right there to punish the 4S from y u k a p e l o n y u k a p e l o with the confirms, he's gonna kill! Oh no! Okay, 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 okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. That was, that was nice, that was, I mean, 
it killed, so it's it's perfect. It's good. Very nice, very nice. Okay, and Rico with the IAD uh, HS right there, which hit on counter hit. Very nicely done, but unfortunately for you, Capito, right now, he is in the corner. He managed to uh, try to push a little bit against the pressure and force the burst from Edo Cetera, but and actually uh, managed to switch places right there. Here we go with the Schmixes. Very nice stun dipper right there from Edo Cetera. Funds the opening. Again, back to the neutral, but yeah, Edoceto are trying a little bit more to put some uh, distance between him and his opponent. He's going, ah, almost got the wall break, but yeah, it's not uh, without the intervention of the burst of Yucapero, who had it just right at the end. Here we go with the Fudra Dark, and the 2 the 4 uh, the win of this of this match. We are on uh, match point. Let's see if, how, let's see how it pans out. Hopefully it's going to be okay. Here we go with the stun nipper right there from Edo Setora, but yeah, Yucapero not afraid of waking up with the DP. Here we go pushing his opponent ever so slightly in the corner. He is totally in the corner. Here we go, Yucapero, it's your time to shine. Be careful there. Okizeme. Oh, not unfortunately get hit by the um the shining eclat, I think it's called. Okay, oh, and just like this with the confirm from go! Yucapero just not afraid of waking up with the DP through. Through the uh, oh the fireball of Edosetra. Oh and this time around what you can do, I can do better. Edosetra definitely like he could feel the heat. Oh the stun dipper! Oh my god! Oh and the stun dipper again! Oh you cap it up. No and the stun dipper! Oh my lord! Oh my lord! I cannot! <laughs> it doesn't that was we added one more, so it's probably two to one right now. In my opinion. Uh, probably. I'm sorry, I couldn't quite uh I couldn't quite, um, I couldn't quite, uh, yeah, keep it, uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't, like, I needed to troubleshoot, so I couldn't quite keep the taps correctly, but it's probably 2-1 to one right now, probably, 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 anyways, here you go with the wake up DP again from you Capital, you Capital not afraid of letting it rip, man, oh my lord, here we go, you are sent far from this, uh, and here we go with the 6p counter hit from Yucapero, from uh, Edoceto, I'm sorry, here we go, he has Yucapero exactly where he wants it, he doesn't want him to get out, and here we go with the quick dust into the wall break, into the win, here we go, we are on match point this time around, that is, let's see if Yucapero is going to find the adaptation and try to, uh, yeah, bring it back, basically, we shall see, wake up DP not afraid of anything, Oh, and the 6P, here we go, man. Oh, and uh, it just like doing a good job of containing Yucapero in the corner, not letting him out whatsoever. Your jump, I'm going to entire you doing everything in his power just to keep him there. And again, in the corner, Yucapero not afraid. Ah, nice confirm from Yucapero. Needs to be careful because, yeah, it just like is definitely going to pester him with the... Um, with the... Not the Fudra Dark, the, um, the Stun Dipper. Here we go, yeah, I knew it was going to come. And that almost did it, did, did it. Here we go with the three, two, one from you. Uh, from okay, here we go. Just one second, I need to. I need to. Uh, yeah, I need to give a directive because I think people didn't quite listen. At all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh my god. My. My god. さんは、えっと、部屋を開始。試合を開始してください。Let's go! Caffeine OP. Yeah, definitely. Wow, caffeine, damn! Caffeine actually, I'm sorry, I can, yeah. I'm off to bed, good night and good. Oh, no problem, thank you very much, ladies, for the participation. Hopefully see you next week as well. 
Have a good one. And uh, yeah, Sekai san to Alex san, so no mama, it to share your Kaishi Sekurasai. Kaishin, it to Anna Ganakata no de, so no mama no Tsujo dai no, it to share in Narimas no de, it to share your Kaishi Sekurasai. Okay, here we go. On to the second match. I'm really sorry. Yeah, I need to ask some uh, some people to start their matches. Eto, aratamete yimasu ga. Eto, jibun no tournament chat ni te sono haishin no anai ga nakereba sono mama eto tsujo dai no eto shai ni narimasu de sono mama kai system mo daijoubu desu. I'm just repeating myself, but uh, if you don't have any like uh, streamed match procedure written in your tournament chat, that means that you can start your matches. So please do so, if uh, and uh, just start your match. Here we go with Captain. Very very nice stuff that he's doing. Just one second, I still need to check though. Here we go. Rx san, imasu desho ka? Rx san. Ah. Eh, san imasu? Okay, here we go with the Garuda Impact. Another Garuda Impact. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we can see Caffeine having some problems trying to uh, to get out of the corner. Okay, here we go with uh, Politank taking the uh, second match, actually. Very, very nicely done by Politank. Uh, again, I uh, repeat myself, I'm really sorry uh, for the lack of com com commentating, but yeah, we I, I need to troubleshoot the uh, the bracket as well. And uh, yeah, just, uh, <laughs> just, you know, just doing everything at the same time is just not possible. So yeah, I'm sorry, I, I need to... Um, Prioritize the bracket. See if everything is going smoothly. Then once everything is done, then I can uh, I can get back to commentating. Yeah, doing everything by yourself is not easy. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> and here we go. Uh, I hope Sekai Sun and Oryx Sun are going to uh, start their match sooner rather than later. Sekai-san,いますすみません。Sekai-san,いたら、えっと、ごめんなさい。ちょっとトーナメントチャットをご覧いただけますでしょうか。Okay, here we go with the Mega Fist. Okay, I'm gonna try to uh, get back on. Hopefully, he's gonna, he's gonna see the message. And here we go with Caffeine pushing ever so slightly Politank in the corner. And here we go. Yes, you are in prison. You cannot press a button or my minions will open you up and look at the look at the chip damage, man. Oh, and here we go with the wrist bar. Oh, but my lord, Politank, he was able to endure everything. Very nicely done. Here we go. You are in the Garudo Impact prison and here we go you still have to hold it and she tried to grab him but yeah captain definitely on point when he came to not getting grabbed because with the mtlo he tried to bait the uh burst but unfortunately for him politank didn't bite holding to his burst oh and here we go my lord the counter hit on the yeah and here we go he is definitely going to oh my lord and using the uh using the armored minion to tank through the uh the the uh, what's it called the the um, the attempt of polytank to uh hit the minions that was really really well played okay well it's okay it's
ありがとうございますオッケー、here we go あ、please, no connection error, no no, please yes oh yes I'm so happy perfect, no connection error okay, we're 2 to 1 I'm sorry, now I am fully operational, guys I can focus on commentating we are good to go and that being said, here we go with caffeine trying to Push Politan ever so slightly into the corner and we can see Politan trying to use the Mega Fist to go over the minions in the attempt of zoning of Caffeine. Also using the slider head to try to push Caffeine on the ground. Caffeine not very, very content of just running towards Politan, just pressing the 4 HS. I believe it's probably even the 6 HS. It's not the 4 HS. And here we go with Caffeine. Using the RC to extend his combo, his pressure actually, not his combo, to try to push and keep Politank in the corner. Here we go with the bad Mega Fist of Politank. Uses the RC. He's gonna get a big combo with a nice chunk of damage right there. He, he confirms the uh, guard impact. Was about to deal a very, very hefty. Uh, oh, the killing blow almost, but it wasn't for the uh, burst of caffeine, which made it possible for him to push. Uh, Politang and, and just uh, getting him off of him. Basically, here we go and the IAD for the win. Uh, very nicely done by Caffeine. Extremely well done. Very composed, by the way. Go using the aerial fireball to try to uh, punish any attempt of using the slider head. Again, the 6HS for the get off me, I call it. The get off me uh, gimmick. Here we go. Yes, you have to hold it. This is probably the single most scariest. Um, the single most scariest pattern that can happen in this game when <laughs> when basically big ol' Potemkin has a full tension bar and he uses the slider, uh, the, the hammer fall and then Roman cancels it and you don't know if you have to jump or just stay in place. If you jump, he can use the uh, Celestial uh, Potemkin uh, buster and if you stay in place he can simply grab you but caffeine definitely weathered through the storm is gonna get the kill with the wall break very nicely done puts another actually puts the final so uh, that's actually a, a fresher breath there because believe it or not there aren't many may players in japan especially in here we go without no what the hell mugi is playing what mugi is not playing nagoriyuki okay M mugi rocking a uh a geo for some reason this is probably the first time i see him playing this character but uh, yeah let's see how it pans out uh and here we go with quick burst from mugi as you know mugi won last week's uh what's called brojo cup and uh, he is a very very strong nagoriyuki player he didn't use giovanna last week so i'm curious to see what uh what this is going to um well, what this is going to spell, basically, if it's going to spell Doom or win for him, I really don't know. We shall see. Here we go with Miano doing a good job of just, uh, yeah, alter, uh, basically uh, mixing up, going for a, uh, what's called, a uh, crossover instead of ending in front of his opponent. He was able to open Mugi and actually end up taking the win for this first round. Very nicely done. Certainly convincing. Miano, uh, I actually never... Uh, first participation to uh, today's Brojo Cup, actually, Miano is, but he seems to be extremely proficient at uh, using May, basically. So let's see how this works. Here we go. You can see Mugi trying to fish for something by using the 2D. And here we go, the Tutsugeki. Miano definitely has Mugi in the corner, trying to fish for with punish any type of normal that Mugi might want to throw out with the standing HS. If he gets a counter hit off of it, it's definitely going to smell a lot of, uh, of damage. But here we go, Mugi taking back the... Uh, positioning and also the uh, pressure but yeah Miano doing a good job of just getting oh my lord the big counter hit with the full conversion using the RC combo extremely well done by Miano takes the first match of this set let's see how it pans out will Mugi uh, decide to use his old buddy Nagoriyuki or is he going to stick with um, uh, Giovanna, we shall see. I, I, I'm calling a, I'm calling out a, uh, I'm calling a, uh, what's called a character change. Yeah, I, I, I feel like Mugi is gonna go back to Nago Yuki. I feel like it. Why would he not? I mean, like Nago is his, it's his, it's his boy, man. What the heck? What? What is Mugi doing? Okay, Mugi rocking the Leo this time. Okay, okay, okay. I see confidence. I see confidence. But I feel like if Mi Miano actually wins this one. Then Mugi will have no other choices but to go with Nagoriyuki, I feel. We shall see, we'll see soon. And here we go with Mugi already putting Miano in the corner, but Miano finding its way, his way out of the corner. Very nicely done. Here we go with the standing P into these veins, into a combo, man. Very nicely done. Here we go. Oh, he went 
Je me suis, je me suis tapé le dodo. Ok, y'a pas de souci. Oh mon lord, that's the confirm! That was crazy! This is gonna do a lot of damage! And here we go with the wall break. Very nicely done by Miano. That confirm was godlike, by the way. And here we go with Mugi. Oh, here we go. Oh, and he gets grabbed by Miano. Miano, definitely, he seems like not a stranger to this matchup. Definitely seems like he has some character knowledge when it comes to uh, playing in Slayer. Let's see how this pans out. Very nicely done with Mugi going for the low. And the Wolver is going to get a positive bonus. And here we go with the 2S counter hit confirm into the Totsugeki. Very nicely done by Miano. And here we go again with with Mugi oh and just the standing S uh, back uh, uh, but when the fully charged does this is gonna do a ton of damage especially since Mugi does not have his burst cannot get out of this corner of uh, this pressure oh and just running straight in and using the freaking overdrop what the hell was that that was crazy good very nicely done by Mugi definitely not dead until he's dead Let's see how this pans out. Oh, and again gets grabbed. The bad meaty. This is unfortunate. And uh, Mookie out of burst as well. Gets grabbed yet again, man. And the bad DP. This is not good for him. And again, the uh, rising salami. Here we go with Mookie and the schmixes. Oh my lord. And Miano content to just try to grab him. Very nicely done, man. Extreme patient from, from, uh, from Miano. He definitely seems like he's aware, he knows the matchup, it feels. Here we go with Mugi, using the uh, guard point right there, and unfortunately, too late for him to try to. I do believe he tried to 6p him, he got counter hit, and this is unfortunate, but it's still okay, it's not over till it's over. Uh, Miano still requires one more win in order to uh, move on to the next battle and move to the semifinals. Let's see if Mugi will decide to go back to Nagoriyuki. I do believe he will. I do believe you will. I will call it. I feel like he's going to, uh, yeah, he's going for Nagoriyuki. Unfortunately, my... Here we go. Here we go. You haven't seen my full potential. This isn't my last transformation. And here we go. This is actually the last transformation of Mugi. But he is down two matches. Will he be able to make the comeback and uh, bring it back? I really don't know. <laughs> my lord, you see what the hell was that? What the, when so many strange things are here tonight, it's so crazy. And here we go with the standing P to knock Miano out of the air. Really nicely done, Mugi. Here we go. He has Miano exactly where he wants him. Unfortunately, he is going to blood explode. Unfortunately for him, Miano wasn't didn't uh, pay uh, attention enough to the uh, to the bar, the blood bar of Miano of, of uh, Mugi. And again, Mugi. Oh, unfortunately for him, this is probably going to be death. Yeah. Wow, Mugi, Mugi, match point, set point, actually. What is he gonna do? Here we go, the Totsugeki man. Was it because he knows Miano and he... Oh, here we go, the Totsugeki, very nicely done by Miano, man. Very, doing a really good job of keeping Mugi out. But here we go, Mugi with the freaking snipe right there. The standing HS counter hit, and just like this, he's gonna... Not take it, unfortunately, for him, but it's okay. He has the positive bonus. <laughs> we look at the 6p, 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 6p. <laughs> no, he got command grab. What's going to happen? Unfortunately, it was a little bit too far to have any type of conversion off of the command grab and the 6p for the win. Really well done by Mugi. Brings it back ever so slightly. He still needs this one if he wants to stay alive. I feel like uh, both players have played a lot. Mugi normally Nago players. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Mugi is a Nago player. He won last uh, last week's uh, Brojo Cup and he played uh, Nagoriyuki. And not just last... Oh, here we go. Mugi with the schmixes again. My lord, did you see this? Did you see this? That was crazy. The double Fuku into the command grab. Last man 6P gets jumped in anyways. Of course. Who needs a 6P? What are you? What is your puny 6P going to do against my anchor? This is what May tells you, man. <laughs> what, is, what is this? What is this puny 6P? It doesn't mean jack against my anchor. <laughs> Like seriously, yeah, the, the jumping 6 HS, I think, the jumping HS of May, like, disregards any attempt of, like, the 6 being. so... Okay, and just like this, Mugi actually, every set to command grab was crash, yeah, it was crazy, man. Really, really well done, Mugi puts one on the board, he still needs two other if he wants to stay in the winner's bracket, and eventually, uh, well, send uh, Miano in the losers, that is. Let's see how this uh, pans out. 
Oh my lord, the big 2 HS counter hit. Fortunately for him, Yano wasn't quite able to get the last hit in. And that would have been really crazy damaging for him. Oh, okay, the standing HS to get rid of the balloon. Alisugawa san! Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Are you crazy? This. Oh, this Totsugeki into sliding RC into the fully charged dust. That was cheeky as hell, man. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Miano playing with fire. Oh, and just walk up and overhead, man. Man, that was crazy good from him. Very nicely done. Here we go on set point. And just like this, the standing K into the Beyblade for Mugi. Look at the damage just in the start of the round and already down half life. Very nicely done by Mugi. Here we go, the 6 speed this time around. He was able to actually. Oh, oh the, tr the quadruple Pokemon, but he needs to be careful. He needs to be careful. He needs to be. Okay, it's good. My lord, did you see again, man? He's on fire. Mugi definitely on fire. He doesn't want to be sent to the loser's bracket. Very nicely done. And here we go with a very nice start of the round with Mugi. Yet again, he's gonna get half life down from Miano. Yet again, it seems like it's a reenactment of the previous round, but still, man. Miano definitely holding to hope. Here we go, the 2S into the confirming to the Beyblade. Very nicely done. Again, you're standing up too quickly, sir. And the 2HS counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage. This is going to do a hell of a lot of damage. Look at this Yamada-san doing. Oh, no. And the badly timed jump, man. Yet again, it's not the first time. Here we go, the 6P. Oh, no. If he didn't... Oh, but it's still okay. He did it. He brought it back. He brought it back, Mugi. 2-2-2, two, two, two. we have a match, ladies and gentlemen. This match is freaking explosive. It's crazy as hell. Really, really well done. Okay, let's see how this is going to pan out. I'm definitely looking forward to all of this. I'm just uh, gonna uh, check real quick the loser's bracket to see if they, uh, they're starting their matches already. Okay, we're good. Perfect. They are starting their matches, so I'm happy. And Yuka Pedo also starting their matches, I think. Yes, perfect. Happen yeah. Yeah, w is the, w is this here. Here you go, you're screwed. Ooh, there you go. Okay, okay, perfect. We're good. Politank also started, so it's good. And Vita against RX. Let's see. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we're good, we're good. <clears throat> we're good. And here we go with the Totsugeki and the grab by Miyano has. Oh my lord, and he can smell that Mugi is being a little bit too shy when it comes to defending and pressing buttons. Damn it, I shouldn't have done this. By the way, I did a boo-boo. <laughs> Hopefully it's not going to be problematic. Okay, it should be okay. Very good. Here we go, both players like really trying to uh, keep their distance. Here we go. And the Totsugeki for the win. Miano on set point. Let's see how this pans out. And Mugi gonna make a magical comeback yet again. And here we go with the DP follow-up counter hit. Did a huge amount of damage, by the way. Here we go, the 2K trying to keep him in the corner. Do not jump, sir. And the 2 HS counter hit yet again. This is gonna do a lot of damage, man. Oh, Min smelling blood, Miano. Oh, and again, man, the standing HS almost did a counter hit. That would have been huge, by the way. Oh, and the 2 HS counter hit. This is gonna do... This is gonna do... Oh, this is gonna do my little conversion. That was crazy. And here we go on to the final round of the final match. This is crazy, man. This match is so freaking violent, man. So freaking violent. Okay, here we go. How is this going to pan out? We shall see. Here we go with the content too. And the D. Oh my lord. The violence in these people, man. Okay, here we go. For now, the health advantage is in favor of Mugi. But he is in the corner, and you don't want to be in the corner against me, of course. Oh, couldn't quite get the, the wall bounce for this. This is unfortunate for him, but he did get the uh, command grab. 2HS gotta go. <laughs> Either be an anti or grounded button. I, I kind of agree. There we go with the grab by Miano. How is this going to end? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Here we go. No, you mistimed it. Oh, was it? Did he make it on purpose to try to bait a grab? Oh, take a tap. Oh. Yeah, one more hit. This is all. That, yeah, Mugi is on his last leg. He needs to get a burst bait and he needs to get like at least two of them. Oh, here we go. The fart cake. Oh, he got the bait. He almost was able to punish it. No, this is death. Yeah. 
This is this. This is unfortunate. He almost had it. Sekai. So uh, both players have been. We've seen their matches earlier. Both seem extremely competent with their own characters, and we don't have a. Uh, what's it called? We didn't have a uh, what's it called a uh, connection error. So I'm pretty happy. I'm just gonna ask you guys to wait a couple of seconds. Yes, it's like configuration, please. Here we go. Okay, here we go. So let's see. Here we go with the concepts. Uh, and just like this, the guy's gonna take it very, very convincingly. Extremely strong first uh, round off of him. And a boom! With a big Wasiri Yuki in your face. <laughs> very nicely done by Sekai. That was pretty close. Okay, and here we go with the very nice start of Caffeine. Actually, pushes Sekai in the corner. Oh lord, oh lord, what are you gonna do? Yeah, and you can see Sekai using the Beyblade to try to close the gap between him and Caffeine, just ended straight up in front of his face where, while Caffeine was spent, tried to spend most of his time in the air. Here we go, very nice grab by Caffeine. Oh, and the schmixes are real, man. Oh, and even when managed to to punish the burst there, that was crazy good. Drive him! And just like this, Caffeine actually takes one. Very nicely done, man. Super, super, very nicely done. Let me check the rest of the brackets as well. And here we go with Sekai. Oh, Sekai unfortunate for him. Burst. Uh, blood bursted. This is unfortunate for him. And here we go with the quick dust for the win. Very nicely done by Sekai. Takes the first... Not Sekai, I'm sorry. Caffeine. Takes the first, uh, the first match of this set, actually. Let's see how this pans out. Extremely strong performance from both, really, really, both both players right now. Uh, it, it, it did, uh, well, Caffeine was definitely more on point than uh, Sekai, but it's definitely, it's, <laughs> I mean, Jaco, Jaco is argue, arguably like a low tier, but once, if you don't know the matchup, it can be extremely tricky to deal with. And I'm, um, I speak from experience. And here we go with the 6HS counter, it very nicely done. Okay, yeah, Caffeine doing a really good job of keeping Sekai out, actually. Wouldn't surprise me if, uh, actually, this matchup is in favor of Jacko. Since, uh, it's, it must be, yeah, once, like, Jacko has her minions out, it must be pretty hard for Nago to just get in, I, I suppose. But here we go with the... Oh, this is unfortunate. I wouldn't mind increasing vertic verticality uh, on Nago's 2H. So often people just jump over it. Yeah, I agree. Increase verticality, make it so that it doesn't hit grounded people, though. And uh, I would be fine with it. But right now, it hits both, you know. It's just the way. <laughs> Especially with the crazy arc it has. The 2HS1, you know. The, the, the aerial arc that it has. But anyways, that being said, here we go with the uh, very nice pressure from Sekai. He's still down one round, though. That being said, here we go with the 6HS counter hit. Confirmed from Caffeine. He's been on point, man. This is the second time he's been confirming this. Here we go with... Yeah, Caffeine, they're definitely doing a good job of mixing everything, man. It's crazy. Here we go. You're staying down. Ah, caught you. Oh, my lord. And that that aerial grab was godlike. Very nice read from Sekai. Seeing that Caffeine was a little bit too angsty to try and get out of the corner. Yeah, and that goes to a uh, increased vertically. Unless you're on the ground because it hits Potemkin even on front. Yeah, this is really, really dumb. And here we go with the... Quick burst, and this is gonna do a lot of damage. Boom! <laughs> the batch. You're gonna get hit by the bat. Very nicely done by Sekai. And just like this, he takes it, man. Puts one on the board as well. Very nice uh, adaptation from uh, Sekai. Actually, puts one on the board. This is a crazy good. Okay, here we go. So Ebika Hama already made their matches. Hopefully, very good. Uh, so we just need Mugi and Neri to... Uh, good luck, have fun. Okay, they started recently. That should be okay. Anyways, that being said, uh, we are on going on to the third match of this set. Hopefully it's gonna be okay. Perfect. Well, they could uh, angle Nagos to H 90 degrees and it would still hit Pot Crush at full screen. It's possible. <laughs> it definitely, it's, not, it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility. 
And here we go with the shoot and the uh, what's called the um, the zoning attempt of Caffeine. Doing a really good job of zoning, by the way. And look at the conversion, man. Here we go, juggling using the, the um, using the minion to juggle and and <laughs> escort basically. That would be in the corner, man. Oh, here we go. That again, the magical two HS. Here we go. Oh, and got hit out of it actually. Okay, here we go. Using the armored version of the minion to try to pester Sekai man again with the armor man. Okay, okay. Doing it. This is very, very intelligent by uh, Caffeine, by the way. Oh, but Sekai unfortunately finds the opening. Is it gonna? This is gonna kill. Oh no! Oh, this killed actually. I thought it wasn't gonna kill. This actually killed. This is crazy. Above Nago, am I making in, uh, 2HS more vertical? Yeah, I don't know. Here we go with the confirm by Caffeine doing a really good job of confirming. Definitely not dropping anything. Oh, but yeah, you, you run to me, you are currently going to me, so we are gonna fight. Basically, that's what freaking Nago said right there. And here we go with Nago. Oh, getting entire this time around. Very good 6P by Caffeine. Okay, back in the neutral. Ah, but yeah, Nago can close the distance so freaking quickly. Very nice air grab. He's gonna get the six HS uh, on the ground. Oh, bad burst right there. We put a little bit too far. This is unfortunate. Not gonna lie, the last thing Nago needs is a buff. I agree. <laughs> I think most people agree. There we go again using the armor. Yeah, trying to really just outlast him. I think, and this should. Oh no, dropped it dropped it but it's not over till it's over the double overhead right there from caffeine and one round of peace we're going on to the final round of this fourth match the third match actually a very nice juggle look at the damage man look at that damage oh here we go the two uh d counter this is gonna do a lot of damage oh i think it's okay does japan see jacko as low tier yeah they do they do they definitely do but an annoying loot here, that is. <laughs> and, oh, unfortunately, didn't get the 6 HS counter hit. Here we go, and the grab. And no tech right there from Sega. Probably committed to another hit already. Here we go, and it's going down to the wire. And Caffeine ends up taking it. That was a crazy clutch match. Very nicely done. It's not over, though. Sekai definitely has the opportunity to try to bring it back. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to this. Uh, just one second, guys. Okay, we're good, we're good. And uh, yeah, everything is going pretty good. We don't have that many uh, connection errors, so I'm uh, I'm quite content. And everybody are is proceeding to their match as well, so it's cool. This is actually pretty cool. Okay, everything's going good. Hopefully, we'll uh, finish before midnight. <laughs> that would be good. No connection error. It shouldn't be. It should be possible. I think Caffeine is a perfect name for a Jacko player. Man, it's very representative indeed. I do agree. <laughs> I always see Caffeine in Celestial, can't win one match Caffeine OP. Okay, okay, okay. I think I never fought against him, but he definitely seems good. Yeah, this is uh, the least I can say it. Seems like an extremely strong and proficient uh, Jackal player. And here we go, bad, bad blood versus unfortunate for Sekai. He's gonna lose a lot of life right then. This should- No! This is unfortunate. Almost got the kill. Ah, fuck Caffeine as well. Very awesome Jackal player. Okay, that's cool. Good, good to know. There aren't many ca the caffeine. I was gonna say there aren't many jackal players. So yeah, if you don't know the matchup, it's all the more difficult for you to try to deal with it. Okay, and here we go with the confirm man, and even seeing, recognizing that the 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 minion that uh, caffeine sent was gonna hit him out of the air and confirming out of it and forcing the the uh, minion to add another another additional hit. That was really really well done by caffeine. Definitely lives up to his name. <laughs> Here we go with the, look at the look at the harassment from Gavin, man. He's not letting him breathe whatsoever, man. Happy to see Jacko players rising up. Oh, definitely, man, definitely. You have Yamase as well in Japan, and just like this, Caffeine takes it. Extremely convinced. Okay, and here we go. On to the next battle. It's going to be Murasaki Megu against uh, Miyano san. Both players have been extremely strong. Actually, it's the first uh, match on stream of Megu, so hopefully. Uh, arigatouzaimashita. Arigatouzaimashita, Mugi san. And uh, here we go with Megu. Uh, unfortunately, already in the corner. Miyano san, Miyano -san doing a really good job of, uh, of uh, just whip punishing everything, man. Every single thing has been successfully whip punished by him. And here we go with again the 
five. The perfect man. This is a huge statement, by the way. Damn. Very, very nicely done by uh, by uh, Miyano san. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with again the counter hit, man. This must hurt so freaking much. Look at the damage already. Oh, here we go, Megu. Okay, doing a late, uh, very late Roman cancel right there to try to bait possibly something out of his opponent. Badly timed media. This is unfortunately he gets grabbed. And here we go with the forbidding starter. And Miano san being very nice and not like <laughs> deciding to resort to uh, using his tension bar. Here we go. The oh, and the good bait right there. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't on point on his entire game right there. And gets. Hit by Miano Miyano Miano with the first match of this set right there. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Very, very nice uh, uh, performance from Miano. Extremely strong this time around, man. Very strong. Um, very, very strong uh, main player. Okay, let's see. On to the next battle. Is, are we going to see some sort of adjustment from Megu-san? Hopefully we will. Definitely looking forward to this. Megu is definitely, I always say this, but Megu all, all, almost always loses his first match. And he usually like gets back uh, and adapts later on in the set. So let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the Totsugeki round starter right there. Ah, the badly time 6S unfortunately right there. And here we go, the wake up. Oh, that was a big wake up uh, burst right there. Gold burst, he got full bar tension, but unfortunately for him, Megu, here we go, Bates. Oh, no, the, not even Bates get hit by the overdrive. This is unfortunate. And here we go with the chase with the grab. And again, this is unfortunate. Death right there from Miano. Miano definitely, like, sticking to, to Murasaki Megu, like, glue, man. Refusing to let any sort of, of distance between them. Very, very nicely done. Uh, so, Aratan, arigatou gozaimasu. Follow us to the arigatou Oh, no, indeed. And here we go. Finally, Megu Egg has me, Yano, in the corner. This is big damage time. Here we go with the overdrive and the, um, the hard knockdown. This is looking very good for Megu. He is almost, he is going to have another. And this is going to be death. Yeah. He was, yeah, this was checkmate situation. Even if, uh, Miano actually had locked this. He still had to um, deal with another onslaught of Megu since he had some bars. A very nice um, lending sequence there from Megu. You can see that Miano san, I think, uses the just block on the Rekka's. Okay, it was my imagination, probably. Just my imagination. Double explosion. Here we go. Megu cast explosion, exactly. And here we go. Oh, he does use the punish. Okay, okay. Miano san, definitely familiar with this matchup. He uses the just block to just. He uses the just block to punish the first Rekka from Megu and then grab him on the second one. This is a guaranteed punish, by the way, if you do this. And here we go with the close S counter hit, the double counter hit. Oh, unfortunate for him and the grab for the win by Megu. Badly timed meaty spells death. We're in. We're, we're in, guys. We're in. Finally, we can finally move on to the next battle. And here we go with Miyano. Definitely looking eager to finish this as quickly as possible. Here we go with the AID. And unfortunately got hit out of the air by Murasaki Megu. Megu right now applying uh, deep pressure. And here we go, goes with the empty low. He is going to get the wall break. He couldn't uh, confirm into the overdrive, unfortunately for him. And here we go. Oh my lord, and the reaction. Overdrive right there. Very nicely done by Megu. Okay, here we go. Very nice here to air by Megu. He's gonna push. Oh, and again with the just defend by Miano. Definitely on point when it comes to punishing this first hit of the Rekka. Oh, and here we go. The uh, the uh, the air HS uh, counter hit into the conversion. He's gonna get the wall break. Very nicely done. Here we go. Murasaki Megu. Yeah. Oh, and here we go with the Ram Slam. Megu's favorite. Hit by far and again the just defend into the grab by Miano. He has been on point with this. Very, very nicely done. And the Totsugeki round start into the standing HS counter. And this is, did a lot of damage as you can see. And here you go. Megu not afraid of pressing buttons. Even in the corner, this is how he should be doing. Here we go with the tick throw. Oh, and the schmixes are real. Oh, and the Ram Slam again this time around and still as lost. Oh, oh, Lord, and the punish on the throw attempt right there from Megu. That was really, really well done. Again with the just defend. Oh, and the snipe. Oh, the sword throw. 
Just one more hit. This is gonna do by Megu. Very nicely done. Two to one for Megu. Please. Oh my- Oh yes! Yes! <laughs> I'm so happy! It worked! <laughs> I'm so happy! Yes, it worked! Okay, here we go, finally in the- We're finally in, yes! <laughs> I'm so happy! Oh, <laughs> Oh, Oh, Okay, here we go, so, on to the finally the match. I'm so sorry for the wait, guys. And here we go with Neri against Edo Setora. Neri rocking the Ram Lethal against Edo Setora rocking. Hi! Yes, so let's see how this pans out. So far, so good for Isotura. He was able to take the first round of this uh, of this match. So let's see if uh, Neri is going to bring some sort of adjustment in order to bring it back. Here we go with the early golden burst right there from Isotura. Managed to get a full bar of tension. He had uh, to use one bar of tension, though, to make uh, his uh, approach safe, though. But still, okay, here we go back to the neutral and the Fudra Dark. Here we go with Isotura doing a good job of just sending the fireballs and uh, punishing any attempts of uh, Neri to overextend. Here we go with the oh the big counter. This is gonna be death. Oh no! He definitely inputted the he definitely inputted the uh, the, the the overdrive, but unfortunately it didn't come out uh, uh, quick enough. And just like this, Edo Setora takes the first mat very nicely done. One two zero. Like errors like uh, in a row, and you end up losing even though you were on like two two match leading. That that would be the worst freaking possible. Um, feeling ever, you know, but at least we don't have connection error right here. So here we go. Finally, we can see a match. <laughs> finally, okay, here we go. Yukapero against Vita. Yukapero rocking the Kai versus Vita uh, rocking his uh, this time around his ship. Uh, Vita is a multi character player, actually, he plays Amelia and he also plays Axe a little bit, but his main uh, character is definitely uh, definitely chip. So let's see how this uh, pans out. For now, the uh, advantage is definitely in favor of Zucapito, but here we go with Vita with the wake up, the PND. Oh my lord, and the uh, what's called the aerial grab, very nicely done, and a simple two, uh, well, a simple 5k, 5p for the win, very nicely done by Yukipero. Yukapero, let's see how this pans out for Vita. Is going to find some sort of adjustment to try to reverse. Very nice confirm and pick up by Yukapero. He was able to. Uh, optimize his combo and do a lot of damage actually to Vita. Here we go with Vita though with the counter attack. He's going to bring his opponent and break the wall with him. He's gonna get a positive knockdown. Is Yukapito gonna use the uh, nope, the stun dipper? No, he didn't, but it's still okay. Here we go with oh, the confirm from Yukapito, man. Look at this confirm one hit confirm, and just like this, Yukapito puts one on the board. Very nicely done. But it's definitely not over till it's over. That was a sick confirm, man. If I'm doing a highlight, this is definitely going in the highlight. <laughs> if I'm doing a highlight, that is. It's not sure 100% though, but let's see how it pans out. And hopefully on to the next battle. Let's see how it pans out. Here we go. That was crazy, man. That confirm was crazy good. Did you guys see? Aerial, I think it was uh, Aerial S hit confirm into the overdrive. That was sick. Very nicely done. And here we go on to the second battle. Let's see if Vita is going to find some sort of adjustment. For now, he's uh, down one match, but it's definitely not over till it's over. Very nice confirm by Vita and used the 6P right away to punish the um, the Fudra Dark right there from Yukapero. Okay, is he going to get the wall break? I do believe he will. Very nice. Very nice wall break and decent damage right there from Vita. Thank you very much for the follow, Snus Chef, and welcome to the Brow Joes. And here we go with Vita, almost got, oh, and he recognized that, yeah, Yukapero was a little bit too uh, too easy on the DPs right there and punished him accordingly, very nicely done. Okay, here we go with Yukapero punishing the 6P attempt from Vita, that was a sick punish by the way, again. Okay, here we go with Vita with the close S, well, a far S actually, that was the far S, yeah. Here we go and the pickup again from Vita will get the wall break into the positive knockdown, positive bonus, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go again. Vita, very, very quick to use detention, and for good reasons, actually. He uh, creates a lot of very nice uh, opportunities doing so. And here we go. Oh, and Yukapito, who tried to uh, bait the burst, unfortunately, get his burst burst uh, baited this time around. And here we go with Vita with the. It's not gonna kill by any means because its overdrive does not. does no damage at all, unfortunately. And here we go with the. 
instant uh, alpha blade. Very nicely done. Vita puts one on the board as well. Very, very tight match right there. This is actually a very explosive match. Both players on, on their end game right there, on their uh, top top game. Actually, very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. And hopefully Neri and Elusito were able to finish their match. That, okay. Okay, I think they have some problems. Um, Doing, proceeding to their match. They still have some, some time though to, uh, to, uh, yeah, we still can. Oh, it's okay. Anyways, that being said, here we go with the, uh, third match. Here we go with the Vapor Thrust by Yuka Pero. Couldn't find hit on his mark. Here we go. Both players trying to really pin the other one down and prevent him from moving so much. Both players have a lot of mobility, of course, uh, in the end, um, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> in the end, Vita, well, Vita. Chip has the best mobility of both, but yeah, Kai is actually pretty mobile as well. This is definitely not to be trifled with. That being said, here we go with Vita having the positive bonus and the DP in block strings. I think he tried to bait the burst once again, man, my lord, you got to not afraid to just let the DP rip, man. And here we go with the command grab. Very nicely done by Vita. And the double command grab and the air grab. But this time around, Yukapito actually was the one to grab his opponent. This is unfortunate for Vita. But definitely not over till it's over. And Yukapito doing very Kai like things. Which is just run up to your opponent, even if it's from the other side of the round, and just grab him. Pake de mo tawa de mo taisen tatsu. Ah, so nan desu ka? Eto, do shio. Do shio, do shio. Eto, ichiyo, eto, o futari tomo mata, eto, DTST, sono, ma, software ditai, saikido, ste itadakimasu de shio ka ne. De mo ichiyo, chutto tame ste, mite wa ika ga de shio ka. De ki na kereba, mata, eto, mata, jikon ga arimasu no de, mata, eto, chutto tame ste mite kudasai. この試合が終わればえっとそうですね続きでえっとミヨナさんとその今の試合のえっと勇者の勝者のえっと試合を配信しますのでまだちょっと時間がありますのでできればそうですねえっと再起動していただきえっとまたちょっと試してみてください申し訳ないですけどそういうようなちょっと中途半端なえっと何解決の仕方しか言えないんですけどはい。And here we go with the wall break. And the confirm by Yuka Pero gets the. Eh, to Uruta Saikido Ste, Tawa de, eh, to one chan Aruka Moshirena. So this, 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 もう一つの試合がありますのでちょっとだけ時間がありますえっとなんとかえっとちょっと時間をかけ稼ぎますのではいぜひともちょっと頑張ってえっとやってみてください申し訳ないんですけどあ中途半端で申し訳ないですね申し訳ないそれしか言えないなああじゃあえっと that being said moving on to the、uh, fourth match、uh, of this encounter let's see how it、uh, pans out hopefully it's gonna work And here we go, and both opponent trading shots, man. Oh, and the wake up DP finally, this time around. Yukapito was able to not only bait that DP, but also punish the burst that followed. Very nicely done. He's gonna get the aerial,、uh, ride the lightning into the hard knockdown. Vita is in dire straits right there. No burst, no, no nothing, but still waking up with the DP. <laughs> yeah, Vita showing the cojones of the chips, man. Very nicely done. He gets the wall break. And here we go, he gets a positive bonus as well. And the pick up, man, the confirm and the juggle from Yuka Phil doing a very good job of,、uh, of sealing the deal, man. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go with the far S, this time around, counter hit by Vita. Here we go, he puts Yuka Phil in the corner and corners himself. Unfortunately, this is really unfortunate. Here we go with the conversion, the full conversion. Oh, the double direct click. Couldn't find his mark and just Yuka Phil runs up to his opponent and grabs him. And oh, and here we go, the match DP will find this mark very nicely done. Here we go, Yukapito finally using his,、uh, his burst. Oh, and the aerial HS counter it. This is gonna do a lot of damage into the wall break. Very nicely done. Oh, okay, the air to air. By v i t a n a l right, here we go, Yukapito waking up with the DP. And here we go, the overdrive. This is gonna seal the deal. Very nicely done by you, Kapil, and just like this, I don't want to jinx it, but 
Actually, I'm not jinxing it. I'm, I'm actually confirming it. But let's see. Hopefully I jinx it. Then. Oh! Damn, that was the quickest, the quickest match uh, connection we've ever had. Perfect, this is really good. And on to the uh, next battle is going to be Yuka Pedosan against uh, Miano-san. Miano-san on point with the just, the just defend, man. Miano-san, this has been like one of his really, really strong traits to be able to consistently just defend. And here we go with Yuka Pedo, mixing things up and uh, forcing the burst from Miano-san. Thank you very much for the follow, Bex, and welcome. Ah, Bex-san, gozaimasu. And here we go with Yuka Pedo, he's going to get the wall break. Besides, uh, he didn't have enough tension bar actually to get uh, an overdrive, this is unfortunate for him. Here we go with Miano, resorting to try to, yeah, here we go, trying to open him. Oh my lord, indeed, raw overdrive is a whiff punish, that was crazy good. Very well done by Miano. Okay, here we go, Miano still has a ton of, uh, sad, uh, some tension bar to try to make his... Oh, and here we go. He overextended quite a bit right there. A little bit off when it came to his grab timing right here. Unfortunately for Miano, he gets hit by Yuka Pedo. And here we go with Yuka Pedo trying to keep Miano as bay at bay. Oh, okay, here we go. Very nice maneuvering from Yuka Pedo. Okay. Going over and under all of these, well, more or less over, uh, all of these uh, raw dolphins. Really well done. Yuka Pedo is doing a very good job of like containing this storm that is Miano, man. And this is really something hard to do, like, this is, Miano is not your run-in-the-mill, uh, uh, like, May player. You can see he uses, like, just defense and very, uh, on different matchups. And here we go, Miano on the verge of action. Oh, unfortunately, bad meaty right there. Got grabbed by Yukapero. And here we go with the instant dust. Roman cancel into the win by Yukapero. Manages to take the first match of this encounter. Really, really well played by Yukapero. It's definitely not one-sided at all. Miano did a lot of various very good stuff during this um, this encounter, so I don't know if there's a real need to. Uh... Okay, what does no ho ipon wa edete iru no de ah dishi shimasu. Ah okay. Ore no bun made kambatte kudasai. Okay, okay. So uh, okay, jamuri poi desu ne. Neri san, kuka. So apparently Neri is going to. Um, to to um, to um, give up because he just has too many uh, problems to try to. Hmm. 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 Mada, mada. You know, kind of, no. Ah, you must know the time. Ka se ye de. Time. Ka sa ye de. Goddamn, you can't. You can't ka se ye de. なんかもしみませんが、もう一度再起動していただき、えっとパークでも。<laughs> okay, and here we go with the uh, continuous. I'm really sorry, I need, yeah, I need to uh, troubleshoot with uh, Nerisan and Nendo Sotorasan because I really want them to do their their. I want to see them both stay in the tournament. I want them to continue and to uh, to 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 be able to to win because I don't want them to be disqualified like this. This would be like really really not good. So what I'm gonna do, what we're gonna do right there is do this match. After this match, we'll move on to the winners final. Okay, to try to buy some time, and uh, and once we do this, uh, then we'll uh, we'll try we'll try to see. Yep, yes. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ah shit! Okay, 
移動していただきパークでも。Okay, here we go.、Mm, let's see how it, it pans out. Really sorry if I can't、uh, consistently、uh, commentate. I'm really sorry. I really need to keep an eye out, an eye out on、uh, everybody's match as well. So here we go with、uh, Yuka Pero san doing a really good job, man, of really again maneuvering around all of the very big normals of.、Uh, Of, of May. Okay, he wasn't able to get the,、uh, the spike right there at the end of the dust combo, unfortunately for him. But it's still okay, he's definitely in the prime position to take this match. Here we go, the grab a tank very, very nicely ticked right there. This was really, really nicely done. Thank you very much,、uh, Oyoyo san. <laughs> Thank you very much, really, really appreciate it. And here we go with the.、Uh, yeah, back to the neutron this time around. Me, Yano san, definitely.、Um, Uh, oh, and again the DP, the rod, the, not the wake up DP by Yuka Pero, but he had tension more to make it safe, so it's definitely understandable that he decided to resort to using it instead of,、uh, well, just staying very, very calm, you know? <laughs> but yeah, very, very nicely done. Here we go, though, Yuka Pero in the corner this time around. Oh, and Miyano san almost had. Hit him with the 2HS red dot. That would have been huge, but unfortunately for him, Yuka Pero used uh, uh, the, you know, the electricity technique to delay his fall. And just like this, here we go, Miyano san again. He was able to open his opening up, but Yuka Pero saved by the burst at the absolute last time. Here we go with the grab, and finally, Miyano san gets to bait the DP of Yuka Pero. Very, very nicely done. Okay, and here we go. Oh, the stunage once more, man. Ah,、uh, once more into the battle. Oh, and the 6P calls the,、uh, the food r e d o r t out. Very nicely done by Miyano. Oh, and the 2HS, actually, the first part of the 2HS managed to hit. He was able to juggle even though、uh, both hit traded. That was actually pretty hype. And here we go with the close S counter hit. And what? Oh, that would have been crazy. I thought he really went. He actually went for a,、um, a, a side switch right there. And、uh, I don't know if it was intentional, but if it was, that, that would have been the start of a really, really awesome and hype、uh, combo. But that being said, we go with Yuka Pero back、uh, with the advantage right there. Okay, here we go with the trade and the,、uh, the fireball right there from Yuka Pero. Oh, and the 6 speed, the big 6 speed too. Oh, and just like this, Yuka Pero puts one other one on the board. My lord, both players are so. Oh, freaking hype. It's really crazy. Very nicely done by both of them.、Uh, slight advantage of Yuka Pero, but really so slight that it, it might just, you know, the, the tide might change like, it, it, at the, the snap of a finger, to be really honest. So let's see how Miano will、uh, try to,、uh, you know, maneuver and to change his playstyle in order to accommodate. Uh, strategies to、uh, counter those that were already implemented by、uh, Yuka Pero. We shall see in the big. <laughs> oh my lord, the big 6P. I think it was the 6P, if I'm correct. I'm not quite sure. I think it was the 6P. Okay, and just like this. Oh, very nicely timed the grab right there from Miano. A little bit shy. Tried to probably bait the DP from Yuka Pero. Probably recognize that Yuka Pero definitely likes to wake up DP. But this time around, Yuka Pero, the, one of the rare times that he didn't wake up with a DP. So,、uh, yeah, let's see how this plays. <laughs> And here we go. And here we go with the far S for the hit. Let's see how this pans out. So,、okay, here we go with、uh, Yuka Pero trying to really,、uh, well, basically to,、um, to snipe his opponent to.、Uh, Yeah, playing the,、uh, the, 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 what, the zoning game, but、uh, just like this, Capital was able to close the distance and apply some pressure. And just like this, we are on match point for you, Capital. Miano absolutely needs this one if he wants to stay alive. Oh, and the big air ca a counter hit right there for Nuka Pero. This is going to be a huge amount of damage, just like this. Down 45% of health. And also, oh, and very nicely done right there. The counter hit by、uh, Miano. And he confirm again with the 2HS. He's really trying to dare him with the 2HS. Very nice confirm. Oh, and this is saved by the burst, man. This would have been huge, man. Here we go with Miano this time around. Oh, was able to bait. The burst of Yuka Pero. No one baited the DPS one. This should do. No. No. Oh my lord. And the Totsugeki chip hit at the end. That was so freaking hype. My lord. Both players definitely on edge. Don't want to 
Like, let it go, man. Very, very nicely done. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. <clears throat> okay, hopefully for Neri and Nedo Setora, they are able to do their match. I really hope it's gonna be the case. Donna Kanji de Shoka. Oh, 2 2. Okay, okay. Nice, nice. 2 2. Nice. Nice, this thing. <clears throat> Perfect. Mm. Okay, here we go. And just like this, we are on the... F yeah, okay, match point for Yukapero. Let's see if Miano is able to bring it back or if he is going to be uh, forced to... Oh, and the big counter hit this time around in favor of Yukapero. Oh, again, Miano forced to actually bridge this time around. Oh, and here we go. The just. Oh, my lord. Did you see how many just guards there were right there? So many. Oh, and here we go. The IAD counter. This is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, and again, the counter. Oh, I couldn't quite convert off of it. This one for the end. The very nice grab right there from Miano going with the schmixes, man. Oh, and this is not going to kill, but this is going to do a lot of the damage. No, she had it. No, oh, he didn't, he didn't let it rip. We are going on to the last match of the last, the last round of the last match. Holy freaking shite! Mm. Okay, and here we go. Let's see. Oh, and the big counter hit right there from Yuka Pedosan. Okay, here we go. Miano san on his last legs. Actually, this is not gonna kill. Oh, and the badly timed. The badly timed meaty right there, and Yukapedo definitely trying to fish for something to counter hit or something, anything really. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be a wall break as well, and the positive bonus. Yukapedo does have the advantage because he has the burst, but oh, Yukapedo does have two bars of tension. This is actually pretty tight, man. You can feel, you can smell the. Oh, he backdashed the freaking yellow Roman cancel. Did you guys see this? Is that it? I think that's it. That's it, and oh no, Miano dies with his. Let's see how this pans out. Don't worry, it's Arxis and Steam that are to blame. Thank you very much for for the comprehension. Really, really, really appreciate it. This is a good show, man. Really, really, really appreciate it. This is a good show, man. Really, really, really appreciate it. This is a good show, man. Okay, here we go, and on to the next battle. There's gonna be Sekai against Edo Setora. The big, the, both players are pretty crazy good, man. Here we go with Sekai off. He was able to. Uh, to bait the burst, but here we go with Edo Setora waking up with the DP and pushing Sekai ever so slightly out of the corner, but here we go with Sekai back in the corner, has Edo in the corner, was able to open him up with a quick dust into the Roman cancel, into the wall break, into the you are dead. <laughs> very nicely done by Sekai, and here we go. Edo Setora being very Kai-like, just run and grab. <laughs> Why change a strategy that works and once again run up and grab, very nicely done. Again the grab, man, three grabs in a row. As long as it works, why change, man? Here we go, Edo Setora, yeah, he wanted to, yeah, very nicely done. Edo Setora noticing, knowing that. Uh, Edo Setora, arigatou gozaimashita. Kaen-san mo taikai hitaite itadaki arigatou gozaimashita. Yeah, 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 mo Neri-san, eto, yaku ni sankashite itadaki honto ni arigatou gozaimashita. Mo, 本当にすみません。えっと、賞参加だったのに、えっと、あんなになんか接続エラーが出てしまいまして、本当に申し訳ありませんでした。またもう本当に気が向けば来週のえっとまあえっとまあちょっと一応祈って来週えっとあんまり
We go to Quick. Roman cancel yet again. He's going to use the overdrive or not, actually. Okay. This would have killed, I think, with the overdrive. But anyways, it's okay. Let's not uh, doubt his uh, decision. And just like this kills him with a fireball on the ground. And Izo Setora takes the first match of uh, this set right there. Very nicely done. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Oh my lord. Uh, that was that was a nice match, man. Okay, let's see how Sika is going to... Uh, yeah, how uh, Sika is going to adjust his uh, gameplay in order to accommodate and find strategies against uh, against uh, against Edo Setra. We shall see in a couple of seconds. But very, very hype match, man. That is one hell of a good match. Most of the matches and I have been crazy, actually. So I'm really, really happy we were able to uh, to host it, even though we had a couple of, uh, you know, hardware um, technical issues. That being said, here we go back to the second match and here we go with Edo Setra just running and grabbing man it's been working so good for him you know that is the mark of a true Kai player if I if I might say again with the grab <laughs> okay here we go Edo Setra trying to open him up I suppose yeah trying to condition him definitely yeah he's definitely trying to condition him okay here we go Edo Setra again going for the grab this time around man. <laughs> oh here we go yeah and finally opening Sekai up with uh, something other than a grab very nicely done by Edo Setla. It takes the first round of this uh, second match, actually. Okay, here we go on to the second uh, the second round. Let's see. Oh, Sika, very nice standing P in order to interrupt the uh, Dire Eclat. Dire Eclat? Not Dire Eclat. The um, uh, Hugo Dark. And here we go with the DP and the follow-up for pretty decent damage. And here we go with Sika, unfortunately, with the Blood Burst, the Blood Rage, actually. Oh, here we go. Oh, and that. Oh, my lord. That reaction. Uh, the jump grab very nicely done. And just like this, this time around, Sika reads the grab and back dashes. But unfortunately for him, Edo Setora. Well, did, couldn't quite. He tried to hit him with a 2P, but Edo Setora, in, or, in order to bait a burst, but Edo Setora didn't buy. And unfortunately for Edo Setora, he does die with his burst this time around. But it's still okay. There's still the third. Uh, round, yeah, man. <laughs> Kai is a grappler, exactly. He's definitely not a zoner, he's a grappler. <laughs> oh my lord, the reaction five standing P into the DP. Very nicely done by Sekai. Here we go, and again with the blood rage. Man, Sekai has been blood raging each and every single match of his, man. It's crazy. Okay, here we go with the far S. Oh, no, you don't. Here we go, Edo Setora yet again grabbing his opponent, he goes for the quick dust, and here we go, the desperation overdrive gonna hit his hits mark. Okay, he's gonna get a quick uh, hard knockdown, I suppose. Do you have any Okizema with him? Yeah, you do have an Okizema with him. Ah, uh, but a very not so good one, actually. Ooh, and the close S. <gasps> oh my lord, they didn't even give him the time to burst, and just like this, Sekai puts one on the board as well. We have a match, guys. One match apiece. This is crazy. Holy freaking lord. <laughs> this is pretty good. Okay, and on to the next battle. Let's see. Uh, the adjustments were actually pretty tight from Sekai. Uh, I don't think it's like entirely like one-sided. You can definitely see that it it, 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 it was it, it was possible for this Setora to also take this match uh, if like a couple of uh, interactions like went his way actually. So it, there's definitely not, it's not desperate, you know, it's not uh, completely one-sided. Let's see how it works. Let's see how it pans out. Here we go, start of the round immediately. Sekai going for the first, man. It's crazy. It's not the first time he's... Oh, Lord. <laughs> and both opponents out of their burst. This is pretty crazy, man. This is like a, uh, a meta I've never heard before. I've never seen before either, but... Okay, here we go with the 6P counter. Hit. Very nicely done. And the grab attempt. But, oh, Lord. And both both grabs failed attempts, man. This is pretty fun. Okay, here we go against with the 6P. Oh, and the two AHS counter hit, man. Huge damage incoming. Look, here we go. Yeah, Asekai again, who's going to be about to, yeah, Blood Rage if he continues. But it's still okay for Edo Setora. Was able to get the uh, killing blow in order to take this first round. Here we go to crossover from Edo Setora. Oh, very nice use of the Fireball too. Uh, well, I wouldn't say punish, but interrupt the Beyblade. Here we go, the Fudra Dark combos into the, uh, the rest of the combo, basically. Okay, here we go, it's Thunder pushes, puts Sekai on the ground, but Sekai already on his feet, already back on track. But Edo Seto are definitely aware of this, he's gonna get the wall break, boom! Stay on the ground, it is going to be a soft knockdown though, no Okizeme right there for you. Ooh, that was, oh my lord, did you see that? That was crazy, man, 
Oh, it's so crazy. Really, really well played by Sekai. Okay, Rigo, he has Edoceto exactly where he wants. He tried to grab him, unfortunately, Edoceto was already on his way in the uh, air. And just like this, Edoceto puts a second one on the board very nicely done. Man, this, these maps are explosive as hell, man. It's crazy. Very well done. Okay, and let's see. Uh, okay, Sekai, Sekai did some good things, but Sekai is very... Yeah, that hitbox is crazy, man. <laughs> it's so crazy, I agree. But still, uh, the 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 cojones on, uh, on, uh, on Sekai, though, he does a lot of crazy stuff, like the start of the round, bur gold burst. Uh, then what did he do? He, he tries to... Uh, uh, he was in uh, uh, RC uh, slow down mode. He still committed to the the, the command grab. Like you, you have to command his cojones. That you have to co command the cojones of Sekai. But anyways, that being said, here we go. Early start of the round. The burst forced upon Sekai right away. Here we go with the two HS to knock Edo Sedara out of the air and making his way ever so slightly in the court and Seto Setral yet again just running straight to him and just grabbing him and putting him in the corner rightfully so that being said a little bit too too far to have any sort of connect uh, of uh, of, uh, of uh, conversion on the Fudra, Fudra Dark oh my lord and wake up I think this is gonna hit yeah here we go wake up overdrive by Sekai gonna put Edo Setora down he won't have that big of a Okizumi still have a, a yeah a little one I suppose Again, here we go. Stop pressing buttons. I am going to frame trap you. Here we go with oh the frame trap. Oh the stun dipper. Not uh, that it was a lot. The judge wasn't uh, who decided not to make it safe by using um, tension bar. Unfortunately, here we go with Sekai trying to bait the burst right there. Yeah, but it was a aware. Oh, and bad burst. Unfortunately, this time around. Oh, oh my lord! And just to grab man, and the grab again. What are you gonna do? You grab me and <laughs> oh, here you go, yeah. You can see that Sekai definitely pushed the buttons of it, the Sita right there. Oh, and the other way around as well. Actually, another, another freaking blood rage, man. Ah, uh, and this is death. No, it's not. Actually. Ooh, Lord, this is unfortunate. Not the grappler too. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. There's not enough grapplers in this. Uh, well, technically, Nago is a grappler because he can grab you with his bite. But he is, he is, he is. He, he, well, in my, in my heart, he is a grappler. But Kai is more of a grappler than Nago. <laughs> Definitely, especially in uh, Edocetora's. That being said, here we go with the 2HS again to knock Edocetora out of the corner, but uh, out of the air. But again, you can see Edocetora noticing that uh, Sekai is going a lot for grabs and punishing him in the corner. This is going to do actual. Very nicely done by Edocetora. Takes it 3 2. Oh, Edocetora against you, Capero, man. This is going to be crazy. Here we go. So, Capero needs to get his revenge. Hopefully, he will. And here we go, we are in no connection error whatsoever, this is perfect. And here we go, a quick start of the round with the 6 HS from Edo Setora. Immediately get entired by Yukapero and sent into the uh, the corner. Okay, back to neutral, here we go, very nice food red dark red there, punishes whatever Yukapero was trying to do. Okay, here we go, stun dipper into a wall breaking combo. This is gonna do a lot of damage, well, some a decent amount of damage that is. Is it Osito gonna use the stun dipper right there as a start of the round? No, actually. Okay, here we go. Very nice recognition from the Citra seeing that Yukapero is just running towards him. He couldn't get the uh, on the ground continuation of the combo, unfortunately, because he was a little bit too far. Okay, here we go. Too far to continue the combo as well. Here we go with the two HS and the continuation. And he's going to. Oh! And the double diary clear right there for the wall break. And here we go. The stun dipper. Immediate stun dipper, guys. You need to be careful. You need to be careful. When you wall break Kai and Kai has tension bar. It is scientifically proving that the Kai has a 75% chance of being stunned the perp right at the start. So you need to be careful with this. <laughs> okay, that being said, back to the uh, match. Here we go, finally. Uh, Edo Setora forced to uh, burst right there and the wake up. Oh my lord, the fully charged dust almost got, almost got hit its front. Uh, but Yukapero, uh, with enough uh, with enough reaction time to not get hit by it, really nice event. Here we go to run up straight from Yukapero. Couldn't quite grab it. Was probably aware of this uh, very, very, uh, very, very cryptic te technique of Kai that everybody knows. Okay, anyways, here we go with the oh, well, very nice conversion from you, Capito. And here we go oh, from from uh, Idusetra. That is here we go. You, Capito, trying to bring it back with the quick dust. He's gonna get the wall break. This is gonna kill. Actually, very nice stuff. He brought it back. Actually, no, actually. 
uh, you capital puts one on the board very nice on the route on the road to get his revenge from Edo Setora who put him in the losers bracket that would be actually pretty sweet to see but then again Edo Setora is definitely not to be trifled with let's see how this pans out the extremely dynamic and very explosive matches we have today man Oh, here we go. But first match goes to Yuka Pero. Very good match. Yeah, indeed. I, I concur. I, I do agree. And here we go. How is this going to pan out? Here we go. Back in the neutral. And it was just running and just grabbing, man. So crazy. It was the, the, the grab master. Ah, uh, he couldn't quite, yeah, get the punish. But, uh, uh hold, what's it called? Uh, thankfully for uh, Yuka Pero, he was able to delay his fall and thus not get hit by the uh, 6S the 6p from edo setora here we go back to pressure mode and the wake up dp right there from edo setora who had tension bar to make it safe whatever the outcome and here we go with the wall break is yuka pero gonna use the sun dipper no no sun dipper there this was part of the 25 percent chance of kai not using the stun dipper if you wall break and he has um and he has a uh, tension bar Okay, on to the second match, or the second round, that is. And here we go, the raw DP right in the block string of Yuka Pero. And again, the wake up DP from Edo uh, uh, not afraid to let it rip, man. And here we go, Yuka Pero getting a little bit annoyed and uh, resorting to using the DP himself. Okay, here we go, very nice 2k, 2d, you are staying on the ground. And oh, the grab attempt from Yuka Pero, but it wasn't without uh, counting on the uh, roll, the, the back step from Yuka Pero. Here we go, finally forced to burst, and again, Edo Setora waking up with a DP, and uh, Yuka Pero using, uh, making good use of the, uh, what's it called, the aerial electric, like, attack that, like, uh, delays the, uh, the, uh, the, delays the fall of, of Chip, he's been using, uh, of Kai, he's been using this extremely, uh, extremely intelligently and, uh, efficiently, and that being said, here we go on to the final round of this match right here, and here we go, Edo with the uh, pressure ever so slightly, tries to, yeah, tries to whip punish mostly. You can see that he's trying to put some space between him and his opponent and try to whip punish anything that goes his way. Here we go, the direct on block. Yeah, oh, and here we go with the grab attempt from Edo Seto that gets punished adequately by Yuka Pero. And here we go with the pressure yet again from Yuka Pero. He wants his revenge, he wants it. Ooh, the big punish on the uh, the Stun Dipper. Oh, and the Stun Dipper yet again. And the 6P right after the tension, uh, right after the Roman cancel. To make it safe, here we go. Oh, oh, again delays. And oh, the delay into the recognition. Oh, did he? No, he couldn't get the kill. Oh, he tried to beat the DP. He definitely tried to beat the DP. And the air to in favor of Yuka Pelo. And just like this, he puts another one on the board. Yuka Pelo on the verge of getting his vengeance, man. On getting his revenge. This is hype as hell, man. Holy crap. Really, really well done by Yuka Pelo. What is Edo Setora gonna do? What are you gonna do, Edo Setora? What are you gonna do? Show us. Show us the power of your of your grab. Show us the power of the grappling, the grappling potential of Kai, man. Show us. <laughs> okay, here we go on to the next battle. Potential final uh, match of this set. We shall see. It really all depends on Edo Setora and his uh, ability to um, to adjust to uh, the current uh, the current pressure. And here we go. The very nice six P right there from Capital knocks Edo Setora out of the air. Here we go. Oh, unfortunately, a little bit too late on the uh, conversion off of the uh, counter hit. The uh, what's it called the. Um, Fudra Dark uh, camera hit. Here we go, the quick dust into Roman cancel it to potentially, yeah, the wall break. Boom! Here we go, direct uh, into the wall break. It looks like has tension bar. Is he gonna do the stun dipper? No stun dipper for you, sir. Okay, here we go, big counter hit, and here we go. This should do, yeah, this is gonna do. On to set points. What is it, Ocetora gonna do? Is he gonna be able to bring it back? This is a pretty big uphill battle for him, to be really quite honest. It's definitely not impossible, but yeah, things are looking pretty bleak. Yeah, he's getting red left and right by Yuka Pero. The DPs, the whiff punish. Ah, finally, okay, he got something going on. How is it gonna pan out? Here we go with the grab. The Edo Seto special, I'm gonna call it. The grab again, here you go, you are in grab limbo. You have to take it again, the grab. Oh, you can probably, you can ruin it. Oh my lord, and again, the grab, man. So many grabs from his Odo Setora. He brings it back. He brings it back. Kai is a grappler. Kai is a grappler. I will never stress this fact 
this fact, man. Scientifically proven fact. Kai is a grappler. Anyway, that being said, uh, Yuka Pero doing a good job of adjusting right there. He's gonna get a lot of damage right there on this conversion. Okay, here we go. No, very nice quick dust right there. And this should do actually in just a clean 3-0 from Yuka Pero. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So, on to the next battle. And it's going to be Caffeine against Murasaki Megu, hopefully. Okay, perfect. We're in the match. This is a very, very good sign. And on to the start of the match. Here we go, Caffeine trying to zone right at the start, trying to pose uh, to put her uh, minions on the stage to try to harass Megu as much as possible. And is doing a pretty good job of doing so. Very nice counter hit right there from uh, Caffeine. Forces the burst from Murasaki Megu. Extremely well played. Here we go with the double 6 HS into the overdrive. Oh no! Too far for the conversion of the overdrive. This is really unfortunate. Yeah. They did buff the range of this overdrive, but it still seems like it's lackluster. Very nice bagged action to the 2D counter hit. Very nicely. None my Caffeine takes the first round of this encounter and on to the second round let's see how it pans out okay here we go the 2d uh, snatches uh, Megu off of their feet okay let's see how this pans out oh and the two the standing s counter head into the rest he tried to bait the burst but uh caffeine definitely yeah holding on to it and did good to do so because he benefits from a full tension bar right there and here we go the 2d into the uh, the the 2k into 2d very nicely done Megu a little bit off of the timing when it came to uh try to take the throw right there okay here we go Megu in prime position to keep caffeine in the corner you are in jail sir you cannot do anything and here we go with the overdrive for the kill very nicely done by Megu extremely extremely uh clean win right there Okay, here we go with Megu. Already has Caffeine in the corner. Try to whiff punish the 2D attempt a little bit, uh, a little bit late in order to do so, but it's still okay. He already <laughs> brought Caffeine in the other corner. Here we go. Oh, okay, here we go. The Ram slammed the Megu special, if I like to call it. And just like that, oh, unfortunately, fails to juggle uh, adequately. And but saved by the non-burst by Megu takes it with a perfect man. Damn, extremely strong, um, very, very strong um, performance right there from Megu. Extremely solid also. So let's see if um, if Caffeine is able to reverse the tide and, uh, well, basically put a win of his own, or their own, rather. Okay, anyway, so we go on to the next battle. Let's see if uh, Megu can bring some, you know, adjustments to try to reverse the tide. We shall see. And here we go, round start with Caffeine trying to put some distance between them and Megu probably in order to, yeah, have, yeah, to do this actually, to put the minions in, I'm going to harass the hell out of you now. Okay, let's see if Megu can deal with the, uh, the minion pressure. Oh, the very good snipe right there from, uh, Caffeine. Okay, here we go, back to the, uh, zoning. Okay, back to zoning, Megu seems a little bit lost, probably not very familiar with the matchup. Which is uh, not to be held against him, especially since there, yeah, in Japan there aren't many uh, Jackal players, unfortunately. And here we go with the overhead uh, kill. Very nicely done by uh, Caffeine. Takes the first round of this match. Oh, and the big two, the counter, and then the conversion and the juggle with the minions, man. That was sick. Very nicely done. Oh, here we go. The counter hit, the trade actually, but still in favor of Caffeine, who was able to. Oh, my lord, this is gonna be a quick match. Okay, he tried to bait the burst from Megu, but Megu not biting, remaining very patient. Oh, and here we go, Megu, like, inviting, like, welcoming <laughs> Caffeine on his way down. Here we go, yeah, try Oh, you can see Megu fishing for a counter hit right there. Oh, and finally, oh, the burst, and unfortunately for him, Caffeine was aware of this burst and just resorted to block. Okay, here we go with the relentless pressure. Look at this, man. The pressure is real. And Megu, oh my lord, look at Megu. He brought it back. He was down with all of this, all of this, uh, all of this, uh, all, all of this, uh, what's it called? Um, I forgot. 
Oh, there we go. Bam. Okay, I need to uh, actually update my my auto my auto um, auto mod so that it captures messages when this is low. Let's see. Let me update. It's always a fun thing. And here we go with the overdrive by Mengu. He's on the verge of taking it, but it's actually pretty tight when it comes to both of them. Oh, and finally forces the burst. And the 6 HS counter hit is this gonna do? Oh my lord, what was that? What the hell was that? That he. It all came at once, like uh, the uh, minion damage plus the damage that, uh, that Jacko dealt herself. It all came at once and just. It made the, 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 the remaining health of, uh, of Miku just evaporate, like, <laughs> it was so crazy. Very well done. Okay, and here we go. Ban words. Uh, spam. And let's add one more. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Okie dokie, we're back. Oh, here we're back. Okay, and that was a sick comeback, by the way, by Caffeine Man. Seriously, I still cannot get over it. And that being said, here we go with Megu trying to yeah, get out of the corner. And that punish, though, on the Rekka. Well done. Okay, here we go. The yellow Roman cancel from Caffeine. Forced to do so in order to get out of the pressure from Megu. And here we go. The 2D catches the bag dash from Megu. Okay, very nicely done by Caffeine, trying to really oh, keep in check anything that Megu might uh, try to do as an approach in order to close the distance between them. And I had a big counter hit for the kill by Megu. Very, very nicely done. Okay, on to the second round. How is Caffeine going to bring it back if he can? Oh, here we go. And you're in Rekka position. Very nice back dash into the 2D, man. It's been working a lot for, uh, for Caffeine, actually. Here we go, yeah. The pressure is real. Trying to... Trying to... Yeah. Oh, but that IAD, man, from Megu. Finding the small openings in that huge armor that is the defense of Caffeine, man. Okay, here we go to Rekka's. And yes, I'm going to do with, go with the third Rekka this time around because I can see you backdashing on the second one. Megu knows this. I've done this to Megu a lot of times. And he knows it. And the call out on the yellow Roman cancel by Megu. Damn, that was crazy good. Here we go with the second... Uh, match taken by Megu and Megu on the verge of uh, making his way to the grand finals. Actually, damn, Megu, on, like, he's really on point today, man. He's uh, definitely smelling blood as well. So, last chance for Caffeine to try to bring it back, try to change his game plan to, uh, well, to basically bring it back. We shall see. Let's see how it pans out. Okay. On to the next battle. Perfect victory. Go with the very nice whiff punish from Megu. Catches uh, Caffeine extending their limbs right there. And here we go with the Schmixes. Almost, Megu almost uh, was able to hit his opponent with this. Okay, forces finally the burst, but Megu a little bit too far to get the ramp slam to hit his target. Okay, here we go. Caffeine posing, uh, putting their minions on the stage finally using them to harass Megu man oh this okay 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 oh my lord and the overdrive hitting so freaking high and unfortunately for Megu not recognizing that caffeine bag that right gets swooped by the 2d encounter hit and the ram slam for the win here we go Megu on the verge of uh, moving on to the grand finals and sending caffeine to the losers let's see how it pans out okay but caffeine definitely not out of this yet definitely does not haven't said his last word. Here we go to Ramslam. Nope, too far to catch him. Megu trying to read them back dashes and actually doing so with a, a lot of uh, a lot of cojones, if I might say again. <laughs> okay, here we go. The minion hitting and Megu out of the air. Okay, Megu doesn't have any uh, tension bar right there to try to uh, use the, the Ramslam and make it safe. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Captain just harassing him, man. Harassing him with both the minions. Oh my lord, and the goal! The soccer. Uh, penalty right there from Caffeine finds it, did its goal and just, yeah, manages to put one in the goal. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go with Caffeine again with the tick throw right there. 
if he has Big Root right where he wants him. Definitely doesn't want to move. And here you go. You are in the block. Yeah, you have to block. You have to hold it. You have to hold it. Okay, Megu on the verge of losing this one. Oh, that's unfortunate for Megu. He was on the verge of taking it. He had the set point. Well, he didn't have the set point, but he definitely had uh, the uh, the advantage on of the, the, the round. And just like this, Megu just brings it back, man. It's so crazy. もうすごいジャックですよね、本当に。めっちゃくちゃ強いですね、もうカフェインさん。初めて見ました。今までは1回もえっと会ったことも対戦したことないのですが、すっごい強いですね、もう本当に。それはもう全然強いです。Here we go. Okay, here we go with Migo already with the wall break, man. These are really really good matches, yeah, I have to say. Yeah, the, today's players are extremely, extremely good, and it's just a pleasure to come into these matches, man. It's a real pleasure. Like, uh, thank you very much for participating, all of you guys. Seriously, thank you very much. It's uh, 本当に今日参加していただきありがとうございます。本当に今日の試合はもう半端ない超楽しい. And just like this, here we go with the confirmed the six HS counter hit into the overdrive by Kathleen, doing a good job of. Opening Megu up and just like this Megu who was on set point this time around uh, is at the other end of the of the broomstick <laughs> I don't know if that's the correct expression, but you get you catch my drill my drill Here we go with Megu definitely hasn't set his last word yet. Here we go with he goes with the reset of the overdrive the overhead I'm sorry Here we go. Yeah, this is gonna do a lot of damage still no use of the overdrive You have to hold it you have to hold it where you gonna do and here we go Megu has two tension bars. Yeah, my lord, Caffeine has to hold it, man. You have to hold it. Oh, I almost got open, man. Oh, this is unfortunate. Oh, my lord, the infinite pressure, man. The infinite pressure, man. Oh, my lord. Like, Caffeine has been blocking for the past freaking minute. Or so, finally, Caffeine finds an opening. Oh, finds an opening. Oh, my lord, Caffeine out. This is crazy, man. Yeah, Caffeine doesn't want to use his burst. Yeah, I feel. For obvious reasons. Oh my lord, the bag dash, the call out of the bag, that was crazy good, man. Uh, okay, here we go. The guard of caffeine was freaking godlike. <laughs> it was godlike, man. Okay, here we go, back to the neutral. Caffeine actually made a really good job of bringing it back and just like this, the snipe and caffeine take. <laughs> Yes, we're in! It's all thanks to Sansan, exactly. Okay, and just like this, here we go, we are in the match. Here we go with the Stun Dipper from Yukapero. Yukapero is gonna put Megu in the corner, trying to... Oh, very nice snipe of Megu right there. He's gonna get the wall break. Unfortunately for him, it's not a hard knockdown, so he has to still go after and very nice. This has been working a lot for Ikapero san. Just doing the quick dust into the Roman cancel and just extending his court, his combo with it. He's been working a lot for him. Here we go. Very nice confirm from Muni Sakimegu. Was about to get the Rekka, but wasn't for uh well, saved by the, the burst by Ikapero. And just like this, Yukapero has Megu in the corner, not afraid to press buttons, even though he's supposed to be uh, minus after the direct lock. There we go, Murasaki Megu has a full tension bar. But yeah, I was definitely gonna go with the Ram Slam, of course. This is the signature move of Murasaki Megu. There we go, Megu uh, trying to bait a burst, I suppose, or a Yellow Roman cancel, probably. Okay, he's gonna get the, uh, what's it called? the hard knockdown with the overdrive. Oh my lord, and the bag dash into the confirm! <gasps> Yuka Pero-san has been so freaking good when it comes to, uh, to, 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 like, one hit confirming, man. It's crazy, and just like this, he takes the first match of this set, man. That was crazy. 2D confirm into the Roma, the, uh, the, 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 the overdrive. Very nicely done by, uh, by Yuka Pero. Very nicely done. Okay, on to the second match. Let's see how it pans out. It was crazy, man. Holy freaking lord. Okay, on to the second match of this encounter, and we are in! Very, very nicely done. Okay, and here we go. Yukapero trying to, yeah, trying to zone his way in. Yeah, it's always a, 
the big dilemma being far from uh, from uh, Ram or being closer. Who would you prefer? And here we go, very nice 6P right there, counter hit from Megu knocks Yukapiro out of the air. Oh, here we go, the stun dipper counter hit. This is gonna do a lot of damage, actually. Here we go with the, again, the stun dipper into the wall break. Very nice direct play, he's gonna get the positive bonus. And here we go with the Megu just using the Ram Slam, man. I told you, yeah, if, if you see Megu with Tension Bar, Megu is gonna Ram Slam. Megu is gonna Ram Slam if he has Tension Bar. Okay, here we go, unfortunately for him. Uh, yeah, uh, Russ, uh, Yukapero didn't give him the time to uh, to Ram Slam correctly. This is unfortunate for him. But that being said, here we go, the big 6P counter hit right there from Yukapero into Megu. He's gonna get a pretty hefty, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna get the wall break again. Look at the damage. Damn, half of your life gone. Gone, sir, gone. You go again. The 6P and the, oh, the conversion. The, oh my lord, man. Stop, you capito. Stop. Stop one hit confirming. Stop. <laughs> no, very nicely done. Damn. The, the reaction on this dude is like uncanny. Like, seriously, it's so crazy. Holy freaking lord. Did you see? The one hit confirms from you, Capital. Very nicely done. Yeah, on to the next battle. Let's see how this pans out. Final. The, this is the last chance for Megu to try to make a comeback and to uh, yeah to try to make a comeback. Basically, let's see how it pans out. But you, Capital, being extremely super solid, man. Extremely solid. I, I haven't seen like Kai's one hit confirm as consistently as him and as uh, Churada also. And uh, yeah, he's, he's being so consistent in his uh, one-hit confirms. Here we go, the fully charged dust. You capital not afraid of anything, man. Here we go. This is going to do a lot of damage. And run up into, again, the quick dust. Uncharged dust. Very nicely done. And just like this, we are on set point. How is this going to pan up? Oh, here we go. Run up into the 2H sets. And very nice just block from you capital. Him too has this strategy incorporated. Oh, okay, here we go, trying to, yeah, reset the neutral because, yeah, as you can see, he has the, uh, the, oh my lord, and just like this, the wake up, overdrive. Okay, Megu, showing signs of life right there, takes it with the Rekka, so still match point. Set point, actually, not match point. Here we go, Yukapelo, doing a good job of switching sides right there. Oh my lord, Megu not afraid to just run and straight out of the corner. Seriously, very big corners, man. Okay, here we go. And the optimized combo. He doesn't have any bar to uh, make it a hard knockdown, unfortunately. Will you capital use the stun dipper? No stun dipper, just run up straight and try to provoke something. Okay, here we go. The yeah. oh, pressure is real and just let it rip by Megu. Puts one on the board as well. Very nicely done, Megu. And we are going to have a connection error. <laughs> of course. Of course. Why not? Why not? Please don't kick anybody out of the lobby, though. This is all I'm asking. Not asking for a lot. Please don't kick anybody out. Please. Please. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So, hopefully, uh, no cap. I'm so tired of the lobby, man. And then words, my words exactly. <laughs> I hate these lobbies, man. I really do. I wish it was menu based. I'm sure that if it was menu based, we wouldn't have that much problems. I'm sure of it. I don't know why. I don't have like any basis to like uh, back up what I'm saying, but I'm sure if 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 all of Guilty Gear Strive was menu based, I'm sure we wouldn't have that many uh, like connection problems. I'm sure of it. Anyways, that being said, here we go with Megu on with the onslaught already with Yukapero down half of his life, even more than him, by the way. And these just blocks, man, are crazy, man. Okay, here we go with. Oh, and he just let it rip, man. But yeah, Yukapero, uh, well, Megu was fortunate enough to have his. Um, uh oh. Oh, very nice block by Megu. He's gonna get the kill. Very nicely done. Okay, and just like this, Megu on the verge of actually like uh, putting one another one on the board and making it so that we have a match. 
we shall see. Wow, that crossover was pretty crazy. Very nice counter hit. Oh, no juggle right there from Megu. This is unfortunate for him. He will get the hard lockdown into the uh, sword throw. Okay, you have to hold this. Hold this, sir. Hold this. And boom. Hold this as well. Very nice overdrive. Hard knockdown by Murasaki Megui. And goes for the empty throw. Just like this. And here we go. On to the final match. Yes, we did it. Here we go. Very nice first onslaught from Murasaki. Gets the hard knockdown. Okay. He tried, and very nice back there from Kapito to get out of the corner. Uh, to get out of the... the what's it called? To get out of the pressure. Here we go. You can smell that Megui is definitely eager to finish this as soon as possible. And here we go with the DP from Yuka Pero. Oh my lord, and Megu not afraid of pressing buttons, man. Again with the backdash and the DP from... Oh, Yuka Pero and Megu just calling out. Calling out the uh, delayed uh, fall from uh, Yuka Pero. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go with the sword throw, which disregards completely the fireball from Yuka Pero. Okay, this is going to do a lot of damage into the... Oh, he could have gotten the overdrive. This is so unfortunate for him. And here we go. The Ram Slam catches even the, the uh, aerial backdash from... Uh, the aerial dash from Yuka Pero. And here we go. Oh, and Yuka Pero and Dire Straight. Oh, and the bad burst is so unfortunate. That was explosive, man. And the perfect... Let's see how this fans out. And let me change the music a bit to make it a little bit more... You know, perfect. Perfect. Let's put some Donkey Kong Country in this shit. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the very quick start of the round by Caffeine. Uh, firstly, yeah, was able to uh, to uh, provoke, to cause the burst from Megu. With that being said, here we go. Caffeine is going to be cornered himself, still holding on to his burst. Okay, and here we go with Caffeine with the very nice 2D counter hit. He got the full conversion and the very nice take throw right there. Oh my lord, the mixes from Caffeine have definitely been on point. Here we go with the 6 HS actually trading, not even trading, but uh, clashing with uh, with the um, the attacks of, uh, the, of Migu. It's really crazy. Here we go back to the, yeah, back to very big zoning game right there from Caffeine. Definitely does not want to have anything to do with close up Megu. And here we go with the first round taken by, uh, by Caffeine, actually, very convincingly. Here we go with the air to air in favor of Caffeine pushes Megu. Oh, but here we go with Megu definitely not out of this yet. Megu having to deal with all of the zoning capabilities of Caffeine right there. Look, Lord, look at this freaking oh, pressure and my Lord, Megu just dashing from the other side of the screen to successfully hit Caffeine in the face with a counter hit into the overdrive. This is going to do a lot of damage. Here we go, very nicely done with the... Ram Slam and DOTG, Roman Cancel, and just like this, Megu actually uh, takes one as well. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go. Caffeine back into the zoning mode, trying to yeah put as much distance as possible between him and Megu. But Megu definitely not one to just run and let you run. He wants you to stay in the corner. He wants to be close to you to open you up. Here we go. Finally, the burst has been baited by Caffeine. But Megu with the tension bar is definitely threatening. Here we go with the opening and just like this, Megu is going to take it. Takes the first round extremely convincingly, very nicely done by Megu, puts one on the board. Damn, Megu is very explosive today. Is he going to reset the bracket? He actually reset the bracket last, last week as well, so it wouldn't even surprise me if he resets it this week as well. We shall see. Let's see, let's see. That would be pretty hype. My sleeping schedule would definitely take a hit, but I don't care. <laughs> Very nicely done by uh, Murasaki Megu. Let's see if uh, ca Caffeine is going to find some sort of adjustment. We shall see. Duel one. Let's and here we go. Very early start of the round with uh, Murasaki Megu just doing 6p into the Reka. Okay, and here we go. Very nice air approach from Caffeine. Okay, oh my lord, using the minions to actually anti air Megu, that was actually pretty sick. Sick. Six? <laughs> that was actually pretty sick. Okay, and here we go with Megu with Caffeine in the corner this time around. Definitely not willing to let him get out, but Caffeine finding his way in the air through it and maneuvering uh, around all of the big swords of, uh, of Megu. 
Yeah, Kevin, very, very, uh, well, probably familiar with the matchup, that's, uh, the least I can say. And just like this with the juggle after the overdrive, Megu takes the second round of the second map, the first round of the second map. Let's see if Captain can adjust his playstyle. It's probably not working that much in his favor. He is able to get the corner carry right there with Caffeine. He has Mingo exactly where he wants him. Here we go. You have to hold this, hold this, hold this, hold this. Yeah, just hold it. I think it wouldn't be surprising if Mingo gets intentionally hit so that he gets uh, well broken and then the neutral is reset. It wouldn't surprise me at all, actually. It's sometimes some players tend to do this. Like when they are caught in the corner with, um, with Jacko, they just, they just let uh, themselves be hit in order to cause the wall break and then... Uh, and then uh, reset the neutral, but that actually worked in favor of Megu, uh, not Megu, and uh, Caffeine right there. Manages to take the second round convincingly. Here we go. How will this pan out? Oh my lord, Megu on point when it comes to killing the minions, man. Yeah, oh, and Caffeine just, yeah, back dash way too much. Oh, oh lord. A big damage incoming. Caffeine forced to burst. Oh my lord, that was crazy. Okay, here we go with the Rekas. Hold this. I'm gonna hold this as well. But you hold this as well here. And yeah, hold my sword. Ah. Uh, oh my lord. Oh, you couldn't kill her. But it's okay. Oh, okay, here we go. And the grab. Oh my lord. The grabber gets grabbed. And unfortunately for him, he has double tension, which makes his overdrive safe. And here we go with uh, Murasaki Megu going with the overhead man. Oh my lord. And you're in Schmick City. You're in Schmick City. Oh my lord. And killing all of the minions with only one swift swoop man and just like this Murasaki Megu on the verge of resetting the brackets man it's crazy how will this pan out will Munasaki Megu uh, cause the cause the big surprise the big upset is he gonna be able to do so we shall see in a couple of minutes let's see how this pans out oh my lord man this is crazy this this freaking tournament man this freaking tournament there has been so up uh, so many upsets so many Great freaking matches, it's so crazy. And on to the potential uh, reset point, we shall see. Oh, there we go with Megu trying to uh, opt to the aerial approach. Finds the opening, pushes Caffeine in the corner yet again. Oh my lord, and yeah, Caffeine making good use of the FD to try to push Megu as far away from her as possible. The Megu man, relentless, just yeah, oh, and here you go. Megu, yeah, Megu noticing that Caffeine backdashes a lot, especially in the Rekka block string, and just resorting to using the third uh, part of the Rekka in order to catch any uh, backdash attempts from Caffeine. And here we go with the 4 slash for the kill, and just like this, we are on reset point. Is Megu going to be able to reset it? We shall see. Here we go, the minion onslaught has begun, you have to hold it or not. My lord, yeah, this is definitely not easy for Jacko. Especially since, uh, yeah, Ram can definitely kill all of your minions with one, one fell swoop, you know, so it's actually pretty hard. Okay, here we go again, Capri not, not deader from uh, Bagdash in the middle of the, the Rekas. Okay, lucky for you, uh, not lucky for you, but very nice awareness from Caffeine to actually punish the overdrive right there. Okay, here we go with, oh my lord, and the 2D for anti -air. that was pretty freaking nice. And here we go, just like this. Caffeine brings it back. He still needs this one and two other matches if he wants to win this tournament. We shall see if he's able to do so. Here we go, the 4 HS right there. Counter hit and confirm from Caffeine. Oh my lord, and the juggle using the minions. That was crazy good and just like this. Unfortunate. He gets the wall break. Okay, just one more hit and this should do from caffeine oh my lord and the shoot for the perfect and what a statement by the way what a statement from caffeine caffeine very nicely done he takes the uh the third match he still needs two other matches if he wants to win this tournament and not get affected by a reset we shall see but yeah so far so good yeah very nice uh game plan change i suppose from uh from uh from caffeine was able to uh to um to get a shift of the momentum if i might say so yeah, let's see how this uh, pans out, basically. We shall see. My lord. Oh. Okay, we are back on track, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, I guess. Yes, we are. Perfect. 
I bet it's just servers again. Then it's still going on. Yeah, it's still going. It's the servers, man. Zeke. It's uh. I think we wasted easily one hour and 30 minutes just because of uh, connection errors. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I I've been streaming for, like, what, three hours and 48 minutes? Yeah, we could have wrapped this up in, like, two hours easy. But I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding, man. Anyways, that being said, here we are with, again, Caffeine trying to, uh, well, actually successfully zoning uh, Murasaki Megu out of the air and just like this, putting as many minions as possible in front of his face. And here we go, Murasaki Mingu just jumping and 6 HS sitting away, well jumping, jumping uh, HSing away to try to kill as many people on the ground as possible. And here we go with the wonderful Drago from Megui, wasn't quite able to get the wall carry though. And just like this, Megui shifts it yet again and on reset point right there, once more, this is really 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 hype. Okay, and here we go with Megu, here we go, trying to keep, oh my lord, and just running after Caffeine Man and alternating his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his, um, what's it called, his rhythm when it comes, oh my lord, and the air grab from Megu, he's definitely on point right there, doesn't want Caffeine to get out of the corner, and just like this, the re the bracket is reset, man, with a perfect from Murasaki, Megu, this is crazy, let me update real quick, you can start your, your games, don't worry, I can do this on the fly. And the bracket is reset successfully. This is crazy, man. And bracket, grand final reset. Here we go. And I'm going to update their results real quick as well. So it's a uh, three, three to one, I think. What? It was three to one, I think. Yeah, it was three to one. Yeah, three to one, I think. For Munasaki Megu. There we go, and going on to the next battle. Okay, this is the grand final reset. This is the absolute final set of this tournament. Uh, it's going to be Caffeine against Murasaki Megu. Both players are definitely smelling blood from each other. They want to take this win as convincingly and as, uh, well, as, I suppose as uh, cleanly as possible. Okay, here we go with Megu has Caffeine in the corner, doesn't want him to move. Perfect, we go with the grab. Oh my lord, and he baits the overdrive. And uh, my lord, the overdrive for as a response for the punish. Really well done by Megu. Definitely on point, man. The reads has been on point. Megu definitely feeling himself now. Yeah, you can, you can tell. You can tell. Here we go with the wall break. Look at the damage, man. Holy freaking lord. <laughs> oh my lord. There we go. Yeah, caffeine looking a little bit, um, a little bit flustered right there. Trying to, yeah, put their minions on the, on the, well, ooh, okay, safe jump right there, but fortunately for Megu, he had another bar of tension to make it safe, and again, Megu just running after, man, Caffeine, not letting him, like, sit down or, like, relax, just not even a split second, man. Oh, and here we go with the air to air in favor of Murasaki, uh, of Megu, very nicely done, he gets the first match of this reset, and currently takes the lead, man, the person who sent him in the losers, Caffeine, is currently struggling hard against Megu right now, hard, I don't know what Megu did to change his game plan, but it's definitely working in his favor, and he's looking pretty good in, uh, he's, he's actually looking like he might actually take it tonight, and we shall see, we shall see. Both, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to, um, uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, the, how, how everything is gonna unravel, to be honest. Okay, here we go with the far slash by Munasaki Megu. Okay, here we go, he successfully blocks, but yeah, Megu, man, he's just, he's being so, like, relentless, just not wanting to, like, get any type of second. You can see him, like, running right after Cafe, not giving him a single second of, of respite, man, it's so crazy. Okay, here we go, finally, Cafe gets something going. Okay, here we go with the... Okay, yeah, yeah, you have to hold this. Or not, actually. Okay, well, you don't want to hold it. You get well broken, I don't care. And here we go with the Ram Slam. The signature move from Megu. Very nicely done. Ah, here we go. Very nice snipe from Megu. Is he gonna... Oh, no, he's not. Oh, no, he even uses his... Oh, this is unfortunate. You use his burst to try to keep the... Uh, well, the, the the offensive going, but unfortunately for him, Caffeine was all read it basically and just resorted to block. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Very nice patient. Ca Caffeine is like one of the 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 most patient players I know. Like he gets like 
he gets pressured for days and he just doesn't like do anything or commit to anything which is really really surprising and 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 really commendable man okay and that being said here you go this works out in his favor patience definitely worked out in his favor elation here we go with the driver he doesn't get the wall break why he was right next to the to the wall what the hell okay that being said here we go with murasaki megu and the rekka again Owen gets open on the second hit of the Rekka and the Ram Slam to try to... Yeah, yeah, he's trying to Ram Slam him. Okay, how is this going to pan out? Yeah, you can see that Megu is definitely itching for a for Ram Slam. And unfortunately for him, he gets scooped by the 6 HS on counter hit. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Puts one, finally, puts one on the board. Let's see how this pans out. Who is going to be our Brojo Cup champion? Is it going to go down the wire just like last time? If that's the case, this is really... Not looking very good for my sleeping schedule, but who cares? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. And on to the third round of this encounter right there is Megu going to find adjustment yet again. We shall see. Okay, very nice air to air right there, and the conversion from Megu, man, he was on the verge of getting a wall break. Okay, here we go, Rekka, far S, counter hit, very nice, uh, a bar right there from Caffeine. Oh, and here we go, you have to hold this, hold my, hold my solar. Yeah, no, nope. Oh, that shimmy though from Megu, and just like this, he takes the first, that was so quick, holy freaking lord. How long did this freaking round last, like, 11 seconds or something? Oh, and Megu just running the other side of the, of the, of the stage, of the, of the, what? The stage just to grab his opponent, man, crazy. Who do you think you are, your Kai player now? <laughs> just kidding. Is that being said, here we go with the conversion of Caffeine. Here we go, and you have to hold it. Oh my lord. Ah, and no 6p right there from Caffeine. Unfortunately, he gets um, side switched by Megu yet again. And here we go, the overdrive and the hard knockdown and the empty jump. Man, again, this has been working in favor of Murasaki for so many times now, man. Very nicely done, just like this Murasaki Megu, who was led who actually was sent to the loser's bracket by this same person he's currently winning against. This same person, man, is on the verge of winning the Brojo Cup. Let's see if he finally, finally does it. If that's the case, this is going to be huge, actually. So Murasaki Megu against... Uh, so Murasaki Megu, Ram Lethal against Caffeine, Jacko. This might be potentially the last match of this uh, of this uh, evening, guys. We shall see. Is Caffeine gonna bring it back? That would be pretty hype too, actually. I kinda wanna see it, but I kinda wanna sleep as well. I don't know, I'm so confused. Okay, here we go with the burst bait. This is gonna be huge right away. Overdrive, man. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Here we go. Empty jump yet again, man. This has been working so much for Murasaki Megu, man. The empty jump. And just like this, Murasaki Megu on the verge on tournament point right now. Tournament point, Caffeine absolutely needs to wake up and do something. He needs to change his, his approach. Oh, okay, very nice IED right there, counter hit. Oh lord, that just defend was pretty hype. Okay, here we go with Caffeine being a little bit more mobile this time around, not re not being as patient as before, which I believe is a good tactic because as you can see, Mega is definitely taking his... Oh my lord, and just the overdrive, man. Oh, and the... Oh, is that it? No, it's not, actually. Okay, Megu doesn't have any tension bar, and oh, and he gets the kill just like this. Munasaki Megu is your 